I am not sure if anybody can see me. So let's, apparently there was no countdown. I don't know what I've done wrong. Hold on. Let me see. So there's three waiting. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, can everybody see me now? Hey, Melissa. Hey, Harmony. Hey, Sync23. Alyssa. Hold on, Alyssa. Um, Okay, hold on. I just I'm I haven't done this for a hot minute, so let me get my shit together. All right. <clears throat> now let me change what I can see for messages. I forgot to update my iPad, so um <clears throat> Okay, good. Thanks, Alyssa. Hello, everybody. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> this is, I need to make, I'm going to make a uh, apple pie, and I figure we could talk about um, <clears throat> foodie beauty, lies and pies, uh, blood clots, and uh, I don't know, little things like milligrams of medication, dosing, you know, just our standard foodie beauty uh, discussions. Hey, EP. Hey, Lori. Hey, Amy May. Long time no see. I said hello to Sink Sin and Sinin 23. Hey, Amber R. Hello. So I haven't done this for a couple months. Super nervous. So um, and I think my chat might be a little bit behind. I'm not sure. So bear with me. So first things first, um, I really didn't plan this out, as you guys know. So we've got, I've got some homemade apple pie filling that uh, I'm still planning on maybe putting out a, a video on it. Me and my buddy Marge Cannon, but Mr. Grebo's been in a super crappy mood. So I figured, and he's working tonight, so I figured I'd surprise him. Um, how is the audio, though? Am I, do I have a lot of feedback? Or does it sound okay? I said hello to Amber. I said hello to EP. Alyssa, I said hello to Melissa K. I see you. Tell everybody on the rock I said hello. Um, okay, good. Thanks, Amy. Thanks, Amber. Alyssa, we got lots of A's in here. Amber, Amy, Alyssa, EP. Okay, thanks, guys. So um, I guess I'm, in a way, like, I'm just going to be honest. Like, so if, if you're here to watch apple pie cooking, we will be doing apple pie. Um, I have a nine inch oops nine inch deep dish and i've just got an eight inch normal one i'm just going to do an eight inch normal one because the quartz that we canned up you really for a deep dish pie if you're here for the cooking part you actually really need about five cups of pie filling for this um and quartz as anybody that was raised in america knows tend to only have four cups in them and some of some of these ones actually have a little bit less in them because you can't fill them all the way to the top when you're canning because you need them to seal um i'll add a little more applesauce to fill it out but so an eight inch standard pie dish would be better if you have about a quart of uh quart dish you know four cups of filling though a lot of pie recipes that you will find online will actually be for five cups for the deep dish um, hey, Marjorie, ch -ch -ch. I'm using some of the, uh, the apple pie stuff, but I guess, um, oh, thank you, Amy. So I guess while I'm trying to get this mixed up, I mean, I kind of want to talk about 
foodie beauty and her absolute ridiculosity, like in the last 24 hours, her hypocrisy, the things that fall out of her mouth, it's just, it's, it's pure insanity. I mean, how anybody can sit there and like literally just bad mouth Western culture, bad mouth Canada, uh, go to a, a shady doctor's clinic, film places that has like material everywhere and then discuss how colorful it is um, with no thought to sterilization and cleanliness and stuff. It's, it's, I mean, I honestly believe the only reason that uh, Chantal's even still alive is because she is truly part cockroach. Like nothing's going to kill her, but like, you know, nuclear war. And even then, I don't know, but, oh, hey, Holly, Molly, hello. I'm going to make an apple pie. I'm just, yeah, free health care. Yeah, okay, so everybody that saw Chantal go in. So I have some thoughts. Um, I'm going to start pouring my apple pie out while I, I ramble, or my apple pie filling, and then, hold on, I need a bowl. Like I said, this wasn't well thought out. Pretty standard for me. But, you know, I stand united with Canada. They should be happy that she's gone. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys can hear me. So, I mean, free health care. Yeah, I said hello to holy moly. So the deal with Chantal is, so first first of all, when she said, you know, she, she went to that place, and it was like, oh, they asked for my Canadian passport. I'm sorry, I thought you said you were a Kuwaiti resident. You know, why couldn't you, even if you didn't physically have this supposed civil ID, you would have had the number. Why couldn't you give them that? Number two, um, just for anybody that was wondering, and am I an expert on the Middle East? No. Am I an expert on health care and insurance? No. Um, do I know bullshit when I hear it? Yeah. You know, um, let me see. Hold on. Let me get to where I'm going real quick. Open in Chrome. Because lately, since the, uh, the coof hit, apparently, so I'm sure everybody's heard of Cigna Insurance, right? They're a huge multinational corporation. Um, and they've put out an article uh, that apparently in the Middle East, they've been having some problems. So, uh, and what it says is expats will, gl will be glad to learn that Kuwait offers high quality health care. All Kuwaitis, Kuwaitis citizens, are entitled to free medical treatment at government facilities while expats are expected to pay an annual fee to access public health care. Additional services such as x-rays or specialist tests are usually not free and patients are expected to pay for these out of their pocket. And since the, uh, the coup has hit, apparently uh, the public health care system in Kuwait, a lot of locals... Um, they're not too happy because there are a lot of expats there. And expats are people that have left their country and, and are now living in Kuwait. Uh, were literally overwhelming the healthcare system there. And the Kuwaitis didn't like that. So they've been looking at actually throttling back that, like, if you are an expat and you're over there, there technically is longer wait times at the public health care facilities according to this report. Now, if you're, and they also highly recommend that you need to have supplemental insurance because the Kuwait, Kuwaiti healthcare nationalized is not going to cover you, period. Uh, and the second thing is, is that also, uh, now if you're an expat and you go to the private healthcare sector, which has been expanding in the last couple of years, few years, um, <clears throat> you, you'll get in just as quick as anybody else, but they have much higher fees. So, um, so I'm just kind of, uh, yeah, I, well, me, I'm not really at a loss for words, but I'm, I'm just going to, I just kind of think everything that falls out of her mouth is a load of horse shit. That's just my opinion. Like, I think she Googles things and I think she just makes things up as she goes. And I think Chantal has some kind of issue with object permanence, as in, oh, if I can't see it, it didn't happen. It's not there. And I just don't think, it seems like lately she literally just has verbal diarrhea and will say whatever she needs to say to keep her chat flowing 
it agrees with everybody, but I don't think any of it's actually any truth. But that's just, you know, um, I think it's highly suspicious that, oh, now she has this throat infection. I don't know. Maybe it's strep. You know, maybe it's, what is it, the, the gonococcal streptococcus or whatever that is, too, you know. Um, I, I do know that for standard infections that uh, you're supposed to give 12 milligrams of, like, uh, zithromycin is I think that's what it, she got I think you're supposed to the loading dose for the first dose is it's supposed to be 12 milligrams per kilogram of uh weight Sean Paul's about 400 pounds which is what 180 kilograms that's a lot you know and I also know that unless there's extenuating circumstances your loading dose should probably I'm pretty sure the standard is 500 milligrams for that first dose and then you either do 250 per day or 500 per day for the next, you know, five, two to five days, depending on what the doctor says. And then on top of that, um, she was showing, I know, I'm all over the place, guys, sorry. Um, yeah, bacterial vaginosis of the throat. But um, something else that it just makes it really sus is that, and I don't think Chantal was completely honest with that doctor because she has shown us that she has non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And I know for a fact that people with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease shouldn't be taking more than 2,000 milligrams of Tylenol, paracetamol, you know, whatever they call it, you know, over in the UK and the Middle East. You should not take more than 2,000 milligrams a day, period. Top, top amount you should take with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And hers has been fairly chronic and is pretty advanced from what she's told us. Now, going off of that, she's holding up, you know, one of those severe cold and flu liquids, which by the way, has like 120 milligrams of Tylenol in it per five mils and a standard dose is 10 milliliters. So that's 240 milligrams of Tylenol. And the doctor said she could take it three times a day. So that's like, so it's a 20, like 720 milligrams right there. Well, she also had a packet of plain Tylenol. And in general, in the Middle East, and I might be wrong, but all I could find in the pharmacies over there was the 500 milligrams of Tylenol. So between the 720 or 740 out of the cough medicine she's taking, she can't really take more than two Tylenol. Two, 500 milligram Tylenol, otherwise she's gonna be maxing out over this, uh, this cap that you're not supposed to take. Um, and the reason I'm ranting about this is because I spent a lot of time in the back of an ambulance and I've seen what happens to people when um, they start overdosing on Tylenol. It's not pretty, you know, so I, yeah. So, I mean, what, what does everybody else think? Um, I really, I don't want to discuss conspiracy theories uh, unless she said it or we've seen it. Don't care, don't know. I know that Chantal lies is, um, is salad locking her into the dungeon? Maybe. Or maybe she just said it for effect. Why? Because Chantal lies. You know? And she's even said that. I'll manipulate you and you'll come back tomorrow and eat it up with a spoon. So, you know, she's got a flair for the dramatic. So is he locking her in? I don't know. You know, is that place a dump? Yeah. Let's see. Sorry. I'm just rambling. Yeah, she doesn't measure shite. Hey, Stephanie. See, hello. I see you. No justice. I see you. Oh, let's see. So sorry. Yeah. So, yeah. So she's supposedly taking a Z pack. Um, yeah, I'm actually licking my fingers. I like apple pie. So I'll pull a Chantal, but, um, but I just, I find it odd that now all of a sudden, and her story keeps changing as far as what's, what's going on. Here, here's what I think is going to happen. Is she's going to try to stay over there in the Middle East as long as possible. But I honestly believe that she cannot stay out of trouble. 
and she's going to get herself in some hot water. She will make an enemy. She will do something or say something to the point where all of a sudden she'll be a grateful, happy Canadian citizen when she's screaming for help from, you know, the Canadian embassy or when her health finally gives out, you know, God forbid they charge by the pound to get her back to Canada, you know, Leafland to get some medical help because I'll tell you what, you know, the, the Kuwaiti healthcare system, like, they're not going to let, you know, they, they're, they're going to do what they can do. But the bottom line is she's not going to like the health care that she gets over there, my opinion, unless she's paying for some really expensive private insurance. And I highly doubt she could get that. Uh, I think the reason at the place they went to, the reason they asked for her Canadian passport is I suspect she pulled the, oh, well, yeah, I have coverage through OHIP in Canada. Oh, I don't have my number. Oh, and the place was probably like, because they probably don't run into liars all that often from Canada, let's be honest. You know, it's a pretty strict country. And they probably said, oh, we'll, we'll get the information. And she made some, you know, copay. The fact she has to go back twice a day for this nebulizer treatment instead of setting it with her. Yeah, there's probably a, a, a charge every single time that she goes in there. The fact that if she's supposed to be taking 250 milligrams twice a day and she's got 500 milligram pills that she's biting it into, super sus, kind of shady, you know, like did, did she go to, uh, and there's nothing wrong. Like uh, the, I've had to go to free clinics when I was in college because I didn't have any money. I didn't have any health care. But the way she makes it sound is this, like she walked into Cedar sinai or the Mayo Clinic and got, you know, top of the line care. You know, they even looked at my my husband's throat. Mm. Or maybe they're worried about, I don't know, a sexually transmitted communicable disease and they wanted to see if he had it in his throat also. I'm just saying, you know, uh, without swabbing, no chest x-rays. A little while ago, she said, oh, I told him about my embolisms. Don't believe that for a second. I told him about the camels. Eh, I don't know. Did she? Let's see. Being locked in gives her one more excuse to do nothing but eat and sleep. Exactly. Holy moly. And I don't know that she is actually, I don't know that she's actually locked in there. I think that just might be a story for drama because she can't get like, even when she's going live, like she, the other day she went live, she had 600 people in her chat. FFT had like 6,000 people in her chat. You cannot tell me that's not upsetting her. So, I don't know. I'm just curious what everybody else thinks. So, this right here is probably about three cups of apple pie filling. What I'm going to do is let me go grab some applesauce to top this off. And I'm going to add maybe like a little butter, a little nutmeg. And I'm going to completely cheat. I have some uh, apple pie crusts I found in my fridge. I realized that I really need to use up. So or pie crust, like any kind of pie, not just apple. So hold on. What is this? Okay, so this person we're talking about, Melissa, her name is Foodie Beauty. Go ahead and look her up on YouTube. She is a five foot one, 400 pound Canadian, um, complete and total waste of space. She abuses animals. Uh, she lies about everything. Um, she has lied about being a, a DV victim. She has lied about being a, uh, an SA victim. Why? Because the guy she was dating wouldn't remain her boyfriend, tried to leave her for another woman. So she went to the police to try to press charges. You know, like if you, if I can't have you, nobody can, cause I'll put you in jail. Um, like I said, she she lies about everything. She owes like many years of back taxes in Canada and keeps lying about it. And she's a chronic abuser of their public health care system there. Not to mention no Lily has an STD. And it's questionable if she's ever and, and like and so basically what she does is she sits on camera, eats, lies about curing her diabetes and all this stuff. And she's just all around a really terrible person. I'm trying to like I'm trying to think of a character or somebody that she's just so incredibly disingenuous and ill-informed, ignorant, and uh, and highly abusive to other human beings. She's just terrible. But it, pretty much we used to watch her and laugh, Melissa. And then what happened is um, 
it came down to where she was basically abusing her cats. And, you know, it, it's a, I'm sure everybody's heard of that movie, Don't Fuck With Cats. And this is basically a smaller version of that. And the Internet's just kind of had enough with her is, is what's happening. And so she went on Tinder and within three weeks found she's nearly 40, five foot one, 400 pounds, maybe a little more. And like I said, I'm not judging her on her weight. She has significant health care problems that she lies about. But she's not an ugly person because of her weight. She's an ugly person because she is so vile that it's just, I used to watch her and laugh. And I think a lot of people here used to watch her and laugh. But now because of the lies and the abuse and the misinformation, and I think some, mm, I think some lonely, sad people follow her because they feel like, oh, she cares. She likes me. And so she, she spreads a lot of just misinformation that's just dangerous so um I'm, I, i've gone from watching her and laughing to actively rooting for karma you know so that's kind of yeah she is a big lady uh melissa and like i said I, I, you, you will find that that there's you're always going to find trolls online that that say crappy things about people's weight right that is not why the 99.99 percent of this community dislikes her it is her disgusting behavior that just people cannot abide. You just, you don't treat animals that way. You don't treat other human beings that way. Um, they had, had an absolutely lovely uh, townhouse they were living in, completely destroyed it, left it full of garbage and animal feces and just, you know, just the worst of the worst, the kind of person that just burdens the system, never gives anything back, uh, you know, sucks an energy vampire, an emotional vampire. And it's just, yeah, I'm just kind of here to watch her crash and burn on stream. And, you know, sorry, not sorry. I'm hoping I, I tried to be slightly a little bit trolly in my, uh, my vlog today, <laughs> but, um, all right, let me grab the rest of the stuff. So, like I said, this is about three and a half cups of pie filling that me and my buddy uh sniveling weasel um canned up i'm gonna need about four cups for this so i'm gonna grab a little bit of homemade applesauce hold on and we'll get back to doing our uh, bad baking and let's see questionable cooking so i do know that i'm going to make this pie and i also have pulled out some vegetables and stuff that i i really need to use up tonight so if this doesn't go too long maybe we'll make up some i found a recipe they're called egg dump muffins you basically kind of cook them with eggs and stuff in them to make like little breakfast eggy kishi muffins you know and you can use up a bunch of stuff in your fridge that you want to use up before it goes bad hey aaron Hey, I see you. Okay. Is my volume too loud? Does it sound like I'm yelling at you guys? I just, I've been home alone for way too many days, so I have nobody to talk to. So if I'm yelling, hit me up. Oh, so, yeah. I've, so, like I said, I was reading that thing on health care, health hazard in Kuwait. But, yeah, they... they uh, they, 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 they say that, you know, private health hospitals in Kuwait offer better services and a shorter wait than public ones. And expats are not subject to restrictions at these facilities, although private health care fees are regulated by the government. And they can still tend to be expensive. Uh, the restrictions being discussed, but for the public hospitals are unlikely to affect the private health care se sector. Um, let's see. Expats do have access to public facilities, but should expect long queues and waiting lines. Uh, the Kuwaiti government has started trials to bar expats from even accessing public health care during certain times of the day. So it's all wonderful. It's all good. Really sus. Let's see. So I don't know. I'm going to add about another cup. That looks like about a cup, because this is a pint, so two pints and a quart, so that's about one cup. Let me see. All right. And I'm going to zhuzh up the apple pie filling a little bit. Um, 
like I said, um, I, I'm sorry. I'm like super nervous because I haven't been live in two months. Uh, my iPad updated. So you know how the apps kind of change when they update and it gets to be kind of a nightmare if you're not used to watching them. Hey, Janitalia, how's it going? Hey, Edna, I see you. So yeah, for anybody that, and if, if I miss saying hello to anybody, please. Um, hey, Jarella, just keep screaming in chat and I'll see you. Um, I'm, I, I, I don't have a format. Um, I, I know like this time last year, I would listen to Foodie Beauty's, uh, you know, I'd listen to clips and I would write down things she had said. And I didn't do that today. I do know that she was talking about how clean, you know, that that waiting room was and clean does not equate to or colorful. She was talking about how colorful the waiting room was. Well, colorful does not equate to clean, you know. And I would rather have a a drabby clean waiting room versus a really colorful, filthy waiting room with God knows what viruses, bacteria and fungus floating around. That's just me. Uh, and since she, and the fact that she just flew like, you know, nearly 24 hours worth of flying to get from Leafland over to Kuwait and, and she's, and she didn't even get an x-ray. And when she has, um, idiopathic, uh, embolisms that, that she gets, I mean, that is, that it could just be a death sentence right there. And it's just, it's insanity. So Let's see. So this is just apples with a little cinnamon and now some um, applesauce. So I'm going to add a tiny bit of nutmeg, a little bit of vanilla extract, uh, a little bit of sugar to it, and I think some flour to thicken it up. Uh, you guys all know how I, I bake. Uh, it's, it's not called bad baking for nothing, right? So let's see. I'm going to start with like, I don't know, like a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Like I said, I, I probably should have planned this better. Well, I'm going to put about a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg first. Um, sugar, I'm just using the turbinado sugar. It's kind of like that raw sugar. But if you were making this from scratch, scratch, it'd be like about five peeled apples you know, and you'd probably want to use about three tablespoons of sugar, about three tablespoons of flour, um, half a teaspoon of nutmeg if you're a nutmeg person. If not, don't worry about it. A uh, tablespoon of cinnamon, uh, half a teaspoon of vanilla if you want a little vanilla in it, a couple tablespoons of butter thrown in, you know, and like, did I already say like three tablespoons of um flour to thicken it up. If you have cornstarch, I'd recommend only using about oh, maybe a tablespoon because it thickens up a lot more. And if you, you add too much cornstarch to thicken up the, the pie, it ends up almost slimy, which is gross. So I'm using flour this time. So, all right. I don't want this pie. So I'm going to start with a couple tablespoons. So yeah, I'm. Th this is an absolute shit show, guys. So sorry. I'm, this was probably a terrible idea for me to go live, but yeah. Col uh, Princess Alyssa says colorful decor doesn't equate to outstanding medical care either, right? Right? Has anybody seen like my wallpaper straight out of the '70s? Colorful as colorful comes. Middle East got nothing on the decor in my house. You do not want me operating on you and or diagnosing anything wrong with you. Though I suspect that I might be as capable as some of the moron Chantal listens to. Just saying. Um, and if anybody's really good at math, so I'm terrible at math, you can give me like, I, I had to, I had to, when I got my undergraduate degree, I had to survive like a year of calculus and I have no idea how I did. I am so bad at math. Like you can give me a problem and I can do it seven different times, come up with seven different answers and justify it every time. But I do know like a standard dose for, for azithromycin is like 12 milligrams per kilograms. I know Chantal is 182 kilograms. So if somebody could do the math and tell me like uh, how much dosing that would be per dose per day, that'd be great. I suspect 250 milligrams isn't enough. But, you know, I, I 
250 milligrams twice a day. Still, she's, she's a very large woman. Um, okay, hold on. I got to get my open vanilla. Okay. Oh, here it is. All right. So, yeah, shitloads. Exactly, genitalia. It's a lot. So, yeah, sorry if anybody came here and thought I was going to. I just, like I said, I need to go back to doing what I used to do, which was I would listen to the clips, I would write down the things she said, and I could go through point by point and just with logic be like, well, and compare it to other things she said. But, you know, as everybody knows, uh, migraine yesterday, so I just, I didn't have it in me today, but I swear I will start doing that. I will start doing these more often if anybody's interested in bad baking and questionable cooking. And uh, yeah, I'll just rant a little, but... Let's see. She needs a total of a gram a day. Okay. So a gram of day. So a gram a day is like, that's like a thousand milligrams is a gram. So that would be 500 milligrams twice a day. Thank you, Aaron. So, and, and she got a five day supply that the Zithro pack she got was a five day supply. She only took 250 milligrams instead of the standard 500 milligram loading dose. Um, and I do know for subsequent doses though, sometimes they'll knock it down from 12 milligrams per kilogram of weight down to only six milligrams per kilogram. So that could potentially be, I guess, 250 milligrams twice a day. But she didn't do a loading dose. So like I said, am I a doctor? No. Uh, have I seen this stuff and been around medical stuff for a very long time? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I used to teach biochemistry, believe it or not, at university. So am I good at it? No. But I know some stuff about some stuff. So, um, okay, I, I need two tablespoons of butter. Let's see. I would love to see bad baking with horns. Oh, you know what? I will go get the horns, Amber, real quick, because this is getting ready to slide off the back of my head. And unlike Chantal, I don't like to be touching my face and my hair while I'm cooking. Why? Because it's disgusting. You know, the fact that I already licked a finger, my grandma would slap me into next week and be like, go wash those hands. So hold on. I'm getting the horns. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Amber, there you go, Amber. Yeah, Aaron Tasis, considering her side, no shade, a gram would be a proper dose. I, I am inclined to agree, uh, Aaron Tay. And then there's something that, suppose it's a continuing, uh, been a continuing low grade um, infection, you know, one that's been around because anybody that knows anything about bacteria knows that with con conjugation, anybody that's stuck around and that the antibiotics hasn't killed tends to acquire the antibiotic resistance for whatever the initial medication was. And so she was initially given a Z pack for whatever she had going on in her throat. What was it? Oh, that's right. Gonorrhea of the throat. And I think she had a, a trico. She, she had two or three different kinds of bacterial infections in her throat. They tend to happen in clusters for people with STDs. And like I said, you know, STDs happen, but she made it very clear that, you know, from what we saw and from her, what she said, even though Chantal lies, she did not take the medication correctly. And so she could have had a low grade infection this entire time, which means a standard z pack probably wouldn't take care of that. They might need to bring out some bigger guns. But the question would be with salad sitting right there, can you see Chantal being honest and being like, excuse me, Mr. Kuwaiti doctor, by the way, I dated a crackhead yesterday, did a shit ton of drugs, and uh, oh, and I got about two or three different bacterial infections, S STIs in my throat, and I did not use the antibiotics appropriately. So what you got, doc? You know that conversation didn't happen. 
But the fact that the doctor did check Salad's throat, I don't know. It's it's sus. I've never been to the Middle East. Maybe that's standard practice because I don't care what anybody says. There's a lot of places uh, in Kuwait and, you know, there's, well, there's still a lot of countries where women are chattel, you know, so Chantal thinks it's cute and endearing. Uh, the reason your husband goes in the room with you and the doctor talks to him is because you are a mere woman and it might potentially view you as too stupid to have an opinion, but, you know, yeah, sorry, I know. Laura, yes, I am live. I, I had to rant, Laura, about so yeah, and that so that's the it. It's like, and it just seems like so. I am not the gatekeeper of the Chantal verse. Okay, anybody can say anything at any time, but I do grow tired of people rolling in this last year and starting up live streams and they're spewing what they think of as facts, but they haven't been bothered to do any adequate research. As we know, Chantal has deleted about 90% of her old videos um, and going through Kiwi Farms, unless you have an invite and stuff, it's much harder to get to and it's a lot of footage. So for those of us that have been here for, you know, the last, even the last three or four years, have a pretty solid background. And it just seems like there's more and more people that are firing up channels that want to talk about her. And I'm just hearing crazy conspiracy theories. I'm hearing misinformation. Um, just, and it, it, it's kind of driving me nuts, man, because for those of us that have been here for a hot minute, you know, we know that Chantal lies. Chantal lies. Pies and lies. You know, you can't believe anything that comes out of her mouth. So you can only base it on, uh, Things you know to be fact, common sense, and uh, just Occam's razor. You know, the simplest explanation tends to be the true explanation. And that's just kind of the way the world works. And so, does it sound like I'm yelling? I'm a little ranty. Let me know, you guys. Yeah, Laura. Yeah, you guys. And so, yes, actually, <laughs> I'm the Billy Goat Gruff at the gate next to the bridge and you got to answer a question or you can't come into girl world because I've just had it with the conspiracy theories and the craziness and uh, just, you know, the, just the, the disingenuous, ignorant comments. Uh, so, but okay. I have a clean spoon. I'm going to taste this and see if I think it's sugary enough. Wow. That's really good. I haven't even added the, I haven't added the um, the flour yet. I am going to add the rest of this just because I'm not going to eat it, so I might as well use it. So, yeah, I probably have closer to five and a half cups. I'll just eat the rest. Okay. So... So I got to be honest, I always get a little freaked out because I can see it says there's 31 people in chat, right? This is what it's telling me, 31 people. And I see my mod chatting away and nobody else. Kind of freaks me out. I'm like, who the hell's watching me and not participating? Like, just say hi. Keep, just, you know, just throw an emoji in. Yeah, there you are, Amy Mae. Thank you. I start getting paranoid. Like, who's watching me, you know? And, you know, I am happy. We did get uh, Chantal to say my name. I would like her to say it again, though. But, yeah, I just, I don't know. And and something else I miss is, you remember how, oh, thank you, Harmony. Thank you, Genitalia. Thank you, Sin Sin 23 and EP. I appreciate it, you guys. Um Something else I miss, let you guys let me know, is remember how we used to have like really good solid clip channels where they would clip out all the pertinent stuff and they would just, you could play it through and there might be an occasional comment, but you could just watch it. But it seems like everybody has, um, everybody is live streaming now. And so, and like I said, get your coin, do what you want to do. But man, sometimes it's like, I just want to go in. I want to see what she said. I, I, and I don't want to 
a nine minute video to turn into like a four hour stream. So that's, you know, so it's just kind of a bummer a lot. It seems like a lot of the clip channels have, you know, it just seems like a lot of clip channels have gone to going live and the, and the lives get longer and longer and that's fine. But sometimes I just want to hear the facts and, you know, and it's like, well, if you don't like it, why don't you do the clip stuff? Eh. Like I said, I'm not willing to do it. So I can't really complain, but I do miss having really good clip channels, you know, and there's a couple, there's a few that I still watch, but there's some that, uh, they, they never interact with their audience. And I, and I, to be honest, like I really feel that social media currency should be spent wisely. Um, and I don't like to just, what am I baking, Laura? I, it's so I pulled out some of my homemade um, apple pie filling and I'm trying to mix it up into an apple pie so I can make an apple pie for Mr. Grebo. And then I might use all of these extra vegetables and stuff over here to throw together some uh, eggy dump muffin -y things like they're like little mini quiches because I've got a bunch of stuff I need to use up in the fridge. Not gone to the grocery store literally in over three weeks. It's it's looking pretty grim in this fridge. So um so stop. But let's see. Um, what was I going to say? I just completely squirreled. Um, I was saying something about lives and, you know, just, I just miss it. Oh, so I view my social media currency. It's valuable. Like my views are worth money. And there, it seems like there are a lot more new channels popping up, you know, and they get a lot of views and they get monetized and everything, but they never, but you never see them even interacting with their audience. And like, I personally, like, I don't know, like if, if you can't even heart one comment or pin one comment, like even once a week in your chat, you know, and I'm not calling anybody specifically out, but I'm just saying when you're watching some of these clip channels, flip through and look at the comments, even if there's only like 60 comments, there's some that you will just never see a heart, no comment back, nothing. And like, I'm personally not willing to watch those channels and give them my social media currency. So those are out for me for my own personal ethical and moral reasons, right? I don't want to support people like, you know, what you're doing isn't so fabulous that I'm willing to give, let you have my social media currency. Um, and then a lot of the channels I do like, they've kind of swung more towards going live, and like I said, an eight to 10 minute video of chins is now um, like three, three and a half hours long, you know, and, and I, I, I just get frustrated with, you know, and maybe once money gets added to the mix, um, like, I think some people might feel like they just need to say and do what their audience is like, like that. I don't know. Like I said, I'll, I'll get off this moral high horse. It's this is just me. Um, let's see. I was off on a rant again. Wasn't I? Let's see. Okay. So my man bought me an iPhone. I, I like Android, so I can't use this device. Yeah. Amy may, um, iPhones are kind of difficult to use. Is it Kirill? Hello, listening while painting my sunroom. Is it Kirill? Well, welcome and thank you for being here. Sorry about my low key rant. Uh, I don't have anything prepared, but A. Marie K. Hello, welcome. I'm trying to see if I missed anybody. Let's see. Okay, agree by wheel. Oh, thank you. <laughs> right? It's like I'm not even that fired up tonight, but I am. Um, I, 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 I'm going to start doing what I used to do back when, you know, a year ago when we used to go on panels is I'm going to come on with my list of things she said versus the list of things she said last time or a month ago or even three or four years ago because I remember it all. Um, and just, you know, we'll just pull it apart and be like, okay, was that the truth then or is this the truth now? So, yeah. And uh, like the fact she says she hasn't been feeling good for a few days, but she was out shopping out and about. I mean, how incredibly rude, you know, like how entitled do you need to feel that and not even trying to wear a mask or anything. And I know that masks, you know, and transmission, blah, blah, blah. But by wearing a mask, it reminds you, don't touch your face, you know, be aware that you are sick, keep your hands clean, right? It's if anything, it, even if it's not, you know, it can slow down droplets because, you know, Chantal, when she coughs, she's a pig mouth open, 
doesn't wash her hands. So, you know, maybe it can just slow it down, but she, she has zero care for clean spoon. I want to try another bite, see how it tastes. I think it needs more sugar. Um, yeah, but just zero cares for other people, you know, just doesn't mask up. No, she doesn't feel good. It's like last year when she supposedly came down with COVID. She was out and about that day. And then she claimed, oh, I called Pennington's and let him know. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You're lying. How do I know you're lying? This woman cannot even be bothered to use toilet paper when she used the restroom. Do we really think that she called Pennington? Said, by the way, I just tested positive for COVID and I was there 12 hours ago. No. Chantal is truly, truly an animal abusing misanthrope that adds nothing, um, nothing to the conversation. Hey, Pernilla. Um, so... Let's see, is there somebody else here? Amy May. Oh, hi, Jenny. First live, how are you? Um, hey, how are you doing, Jenny? So this was kind of spur of the moment, so I'm really not prepared. Um, I, I swear, I used to be a little bit better. I used to, when I used to go on lives, I would have my little list and everything, and tonight it's just, just, you know, it's really hard to watch somebody who has not paid their fair share of taxes. Not for a long time. And, and I mean, not only that, is you hear about how her mother has bailed her out, how, you know, Pete has, you know, Pete, Pete has bailed Chantal out, you know, two bankruptcies, you know, she owes God knows how much to uh, the country of Canada, you know, and she's the first one to get in line for free health care and to use and abuse the system, but never follow up, take up spots, you know, valuable doctor appointment time, but never follow up. So it's a complete and total wasted. Same with mental health, you know. Um, and so I and I've said this and I'll say this again is I'm going to stir this into nothingness because I'm so I'm, I'm frustrated. So I'm OK, I need to take another taste. I'm going to add a little more sugar. Um, but Chantal is truly is, and I don't know about you, but it seems like there's always one of her wherever you go. Um, one of those people who, wait, where'd my towel go? Oh, here it is. Um, that she just strikes me as the kind of person who has never had to suffer any consequences for her bad choices. Somebody has always bailed her out. You can tell. Like she just has zero I'm now up to four tablespoons of sugar. I haven't added any flour yet for thickening. Is She has no respect for other people's time, for just nothing. And it's the frustrating part is that she just seems to be able to um, just keep on rolling with no consequences. But I honestly believe between, you know, pre-diabetes, Lord Betis, uh, you know, high blood pressure, you know, idiopathic um, embolisms, uh, non chronic, non -al alcoholic fatty liver disease with her diet. You know, they have removed her gallbladder. She's had to have all her reproductive organs removed because of her diet. I, I really think that, uh, the time to pay the piper is coming sooner rather than later. You know, she can joke about it all she wants, but I, I, I do think that, uh, she will have some major medical catastrophe sooner rather than later. And it's probably going to be one of those things where there potentially might be no coming back from it. Like, you know, once you've had a stroke or, you know, they've had a cut off a foot or, you know, something like that, there's, you know, you, you could change your ways all you want, but the damage is done. You know, the damage because of diabetes that she could be doing to her kidneys right now. You know, good luck living without a liver. Okay, let's see if that sugar helped. I want it to be kind of sweet. I don't know that I like it. I have, eh, I'm on the fence if I like the nutmeg in it. Mm. That's pretty good. Let's see. Let's see. I'm trying to keep up with chat. Sorry. Let's see. 
Yes, it is good to see everybody. Hey, Nessa Sita, good to see you here. Uh, I need to start reading chat. Like, yeah, there's some people like Kaya. She's so good at interacting with chat. I am not good at it. Do you think she will go through with Ramadan? Ooh, do I think she will go through with Ramadan? I truly believe that Chantal will go through with Ramadan about the same as she went through with that vegan art. Remember how she managed to lie for a hot minute? She might even be able to lie for the entire Ramadan uh, season. Do I actually think she will go without eating from sunrise to sundown? No, no way. But I, I really do think she will, I, I, and, you know, she might say she's going to, but she won't. But what I think she will do is establish a medical reason as to why she can't do it. So that's, that's what I think. Oh, look at your comment. Oh, thank you, Laura. She never make the list for a transplant. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, too, is if that's the comment you're talking about, Laura, is, yeah, it's uh, a little sad. But, yeah, I just had a cousin die from liver failure, you know, 36 years old. There just aren't enough organs out there for people, and they're very particular. And if you've shown a pattern of noncompliance, et cetera, et cetera, you're not getting anything. Not Even if you had a family member that was eligible to give you an organ, they won't do the surgery. You know, it just, it's, you know, and it, there's, there's no coming back. You can't live without a liver, you know? All right. Um, I'm going to see how this tastes. That's pretty good. I might, uh, I'm on the fence. Do I want to add a little bit of brown sugar to it? See, I like my apple pie, like really tart. Mr. Grebo likes his a little sweeter. Let's see. Your dad died of liver cancer. I'm sorry, genitalia. Yeah, the d liver issues are not. Um, hey, Maggie S. Thank you. Thank you for being here from Greece. Um, yeah, genitalia. So for anybody that's ever seen liver failure or um, been around it or it's it's not pretty. It's it's you know, it's not pretty. And if she's using Tylenol and then taking extra medications with Tylenol in it, that's just, you don't want to do that. It's, you know, and it's, it's one of those things that people don't appreciate their liver until it's not working anymore, you know? So, all right. So I am cheating. I'm going to make, I have to use up um, the pre-made. They've been in the fridge for a hot minute or I had them in the freezer and then I threw them in the fridge. So uh, I still need to add flour to that. Three tablespoons of flour. So hold on. Okay. Actually, I don't feel like reaching over that. I'm just going to grab it from over here. Mm. But yeah, let's see what everybody's saying. Yeah, Necessita. Uh, I, I haven't gone live for a couple months. I'm still doing my daily vlogs. So if one of the mods wants to drop today's daily vlog link in the chat, like I, I said, I'm going to do your agribo. We're like at what, five months and 10 days now? I can't believe I'm still doing this, man. I've lost my mind. So I'm going to use three tablespoons of flour. Well, maybe just let me see what it looks like with two because it's already pretty thick. Um, man, I'm so unorganized. Yeah, this is really thick, so I don't think I need too much flour in it because it is, it's, they're not raw apples. They've already been cooked because these were canned apples, Pan canned apples I made for, you know, let's see. Add the brown sugar. Yeah, I think I will add some brown sugar, Alyssa. Good idea. Thanks, holy moly. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, yeah, there, I got to admit, there's some days where I get up and I'm like, oh, my God, I can't believe I agreed to do this for a year. And I just feel like I'm getting really, like, repetitive and boring. But I'm like, well, I'm a repetitive and boring person. So 
I guess I said I'll do it, so I'll do it. Um, okay, let me get some brown sugar. All right. Yeah, Laura, Laura's, Laura's not been feeling so hot. So, yeah, if, if you just want to sit and listen, man, I even I appreciate you being here, Laura. All right, let's see. A little bit of brown sugar. I had a couple tablespoons of that. Okay. Yeah, Maggie S. Grease, man, I have... Uh, well, I have, I had a person that was a pen pal that lived in Greece. So, so gorgeous. Um, hopefully your guys' economy is starting to pick up. I know it was, it was pretty grim over there for a hot minute. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Princess Alyssa, for the compliment. Yes, Maggie, Greece is gorgeous. Okay. Let me stir this in. This is... Probably getting to the point where I should use a deep dish, but I'm not going to. I'm just still because. All right. This is going to be my last clean spoon I use because I don't want to dirty every spoon in the house. And then I really should get these eggy muffins. Um, I'm just trying to think, like, is there anything else? It just was Chantal's ridiculosity. Um, and then there's Pete's. There's so many people that, you know, poor Pete's, poor Pete's. I'm sorry. That is a full grown man that was self-supporting adult for 11 years, kept the same job. So you don't get to, to, to all of a sudden start trying to scream, oh, I'm disabled. Really? Or, or, or is this just learned helplessness, Pete? And the, and the way they treated Tin Bits and then, you know, how he treated uh, BBJ and stuff, I just don't, don't have a lot of sympathy, you know? He's entitled opinionated and lazy and contributes nothing. He always seems to want to weigh in on Marika's uh, politics. Why don't you be useful and do something in Canada there, Pete's? There's a thought. So, yeah. All right. Let's see. Yeah, that brown sugar, that made the difference. I kind of want to keep eating it now. It's good. Pete's is scary and unstable, and he is an ass. And I am, yeah, laziness is not a disability. And you know what? The Canadian schools, actually, uh, overall, they're no, like, they, they have some pretty, it's a good public education system. And, uh, you know, and Pete's isn't so old. A lot of times they would notice things like ADHD and like autism and stuff. And, and the fact that he wasn't offered that in school says he didn't have enough of a problem that anybody ever thought there was a problem. Um, you know, and it's so it's like, oh, he can pay to get tested for it. Well, anybody can get paid to get tested for that kind of stuff. I could go in and get paid and pay to get tested for being autistic. Doesn't mean I'm autistic. You know, just because I think a thing does not make that thing true. And I'm a firm believer that you don't get to use Dr. Google to diagnose yourself. Is Pete weird? Yeah. Is he autistic? No. Not until I see an official diagnosis. And if you are too lazy to go get that, then guess what? You know, I just think the guy's lazy. I, I have to know something about something when it comes to autism. So I don't see somebody that's autistic. I see somebody that's incredibly entitled and lazy. And was abusive to a cat, you know? So, let's see. Can you imagine a good school system and these two Fs slipping through the cracks, right? Yeah, exactly, Pernell. Yeah, these guys are just, they're just, um, and they, they are truly, truly the, uh, the embodiment of lazy entitled Westerners, like Chantal sitting there in the Middle East, you know, uh, basically e-bagging on a daily basis, uh, her and Pete's both that have completely benefited from this, you know, evil Western society that they are both so, are these still good? Yeah, I think it's, crust is still good. How can you tell if a crust has gone bad? 
It's one of those Pillsbury one. It's been in the fridge. So I am not good. Like I said, it's called bad bacon for a reason. Let's see. They knew exactly what they were doing. Yeah, they, they actually did. Um, and so for them to sit there and have an attitude of, you know, and Pete's wanting to have an attitude about America. It's like, listen, you overweight, you know, ass. And like he said in the past, he doesn't want to be a woman, but he's glommed onto this trans identity because he thinks it'll be easier and stuff. It's jerks like him that make it hard for people that actually have you know, I'm not going to get into the whole politics of that, but, you know, doing a thing and saying a thing for, you know, to get attention, or make it, no, mm -mm, you know, and he always wants to comment on the United States and he doesn't do anything. I mean, like, dude's never even voted in his own country. Chantal hasn't paid taxes in how long and basically has always mooched off somebody, never paid her fair share of taxes, you know, and now she's sitting in the Middle East talking about how evil Canada is. You know what? Wherever you go, Chantal, there you are. So, and you know, the, her, her, her drug use is just a symptom of what is wrong with her. The problem is up here. And so, let's see, I'm trying to decide. She's a fat white Westerner. So yeah, Jarella, she just, Chantal is like the stereotypical. She is the reason that everybody else on the ha planet hates, you know? Yeah, I think, um, I don't think that this has gone bad. I mean, how can you tell if a pie crust has gone bad? I think I was supposed to use it about six months ago, but it doesn't taste bad. Does anybody know? Thank you, Genitalia. I, I have a feeling I'm going to be ranting more because I just can't take it anymore. Let's see. Yeah, it made me very upset too, Amy May, where she was smack talking Canada. And I'm just like, really? You know, you who benefits? It's like, so, okay. Sorry, not sorry. I hope she has a major medical emergency. And I hope they charge her by the pound. Fly her fat ass home. Um, you know, Let's see. Let's see what tune she's singing then. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, genitalia. Same. Like this. Yeah. So, um, okay. So does I don't think I'm going to get any answers to see if how you can tell if I suppose I, I have one more box in there. I could, I guess I could cut it open. Like, I mean, do do. It doesn't smell bad. Does anybody know how? Let's see. Do pre-made pie crusts go bad? Let's find out. Okay. Do pre-made pie crusts expire? Probably stored. That's for frozen ones. I threw these in the fridge, though. Let's see, does refrigerator pie crust? Three months, so I can't tell. Yes, probably, if it's properly stored, the package is undamaged. Commercially packaged pie crust mix will typically carry a best buy date but this is not a safety date. It is the manufacturer's estimate. So yeah, I think it's still good. It doesn't smell, doesn't taste bad. Let's go for it. So I'm gonna heat the oven up to 400 cause you cook them like on 425 for 15 minutes and then go down to 350 for like 40 minutes. So let me pull down the smoke alarms just because mine go off on heat alone. My oven is clean because I'm pretty sure my smoke alarm went off on one of my last lives. Embarrassing. So, hold on. Okay. All right. 
So uh, how many, let's see, it's only evil because it's holding her accountable financially. She hates it. Exactly, Necessita. Uh, tear off a little piece and taste it. You'll be able to tell the taste and smell. Yeah, it, it, uh, it doesn't smell bad. And it has that floury dough taste to it, so I think it's okay. Um, all right, where's my, there it goes. All right. I guess I should try to. There we go. Oh, so yeah, there's a little much, uh. can't help it I'm telling you um Alyssa the brown sugar made it apples are healthy exactly they cancel out the expiration data yeah the crust I think it's going to be okay so I'll put this here um I'm going to do oh darn it I forgot to roll this around because I wanted to I'm just going to do strips over the top instead of another pie crust. Mr. Grebo is not a huge fan of too much pie crust, so that's why I don't bother making. He's just here for the, the apple pie filling, I think. So I'll go like this. Oh, you can, can you see? There we go. So I'm basically pulling off that. I just flicked my finger again. I know I'm going to hell. I'm going to make little strips out of this. So let me move this over here. Okay. Are you going, Alyssa? Okay. Good night, Princess Alyssa. Thank you for helping out. Appreciate it. Okay. Okay. Holy moly, still here. Let's see. And I know Laura's listening, so... All right. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I, I, I wasn't really prepared tonight. I just had some baking I needed to do. But it's really hard to to watch chat, concentrate on baking, and rant at the same time. Like, it all sounds good, but <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I'll put this here. Okay. So basically, I'm just using all the extra dough, and I'm rolling out, and I'm just kind of doing sh strips. So let's see what we got here. Let's see, is there anything I didn't cover with Chantal? You know, just this last, when she's, she keeps talking about how, how cheap things are there, and you know, blah, blah, blah. And like she was showing, um, she keeps showing falafel, how cheap it is. Well, sweetheart, falafel there is kind of the equivalent of government cheese here. Does that make sense? You know, it's, it's subsidized, it's cheap, you know, because there are people that can't afford. And when Chantal's going on, I'm like, oh, there's no homeless people here and stuff. Oh, damn, Skippy, there are homeless people. You just don't see them. Because unlike where you live, you know, where they have rights and stuff, they get ran off. So, yeah, you don't see them. Go figure. And there's no drug problems. Oh, there probably is. It's just not anything you're going to see. And she said, oh, I don't think they still have the death penalty there. Ma'am? Yeah, they do. I mean, she is just willfully ignorant. And it's just I've never been so hopeful that that uh, reality would slap somebody into next week. Hey, Bali Chicken. Hey, good to see you. Uh, let's see. Sin Sin says, I am really curious how the bankruptcy situation is being handled while she's over there since it wasn't discharged. Yeah, same. I honestly believe that they, they refuse to discharge it. And, you know, and she thinks going out of country and it's like, well, I'll continue paying on it blah, 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 you know, and then I'll live here for a while and get it together. Well, cause they don't have income tax. Well, but there's also no, uh, 
tax treaty with Kuwait between Google, 99.9% sure. And so if there is no tax treat, treaty or something like that, I'm 99.9% sure that Google will then automatically withhold something like 24 or 30%. Just it's what they do. So um, I, I think I think she is, you know, I'm sure she, oh, I rolled that too thin. I got to do it again. Um, I, uh, since that bankruptcy, and like I said, I'm not a lawyer, has not been discharged. It's like, I don't think, it's obvious that the, the it's not a guardian ad litem, but the, it was the, the litem guy that's in charge of the bankruptcy. I mean, they're going to try to make her pay. And so I don't think her health is going to hold out as long as uh, the CRA, the Canadian Revenue Authority, is going to. And so I think she will eventually get turned in and there will be consequences because eventually she's going to have to come back. Um, I, just that or she's going to end up having to slum it in foreign countries. But with her health being as poor as it is, I don't see that working out for her. Being a super morbidly obese, like if she goes to Thailand, she's going to get tortured. People will stop, stare, and point at her on the streets. Um, I'm not doing a lattice. <laughs> this this looks terrible, I know. I just, I just, I got no Fs to give tonight. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, that, that has, I got apple pie on that. Um, Let's see, like when the Olympics were in Sydney, Australia, they shipped all the homeless people to other states with cash incentives. Exactly. Yeah. So, yes, Chantal says, oh, they don't have homeless problems in Kuwait. And it's so much better. Like, I cannot wait. I can't wait. Um, and it's like, sh should we start some kind of betting pool as to what day something's going to go horribly wrong and she's going to start screaming for the Canadian embassy? I'm a Canadian citizen. You can't do this. I mean, it's not if, it's when that happens. My opinion, you know, because that's the kind of person Chantal is. She's the ultimate Karen. But she's not even smart. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I should probably weave this, but I'm not going to. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, yes, I'm making an apple pie. Hey, Lenny Bo. How's it going? It's good to see you. Uh, I'm trying to see if I miss anything. Yeah, so I was just on here. I'm making an apple pie, and I'm just, I've had it with Chantal and her lies. And, like, I'm just curious, like, um... Like, you know, is, is salad's got to take her in to get a nebulizer twice a day and stuff. Yeah, we'll see. It, do we think she's going to get better or do we do we think she's going to be like a cockroach and get out of this? Or do, do we think this might get potentially worse? Or do we think that maybe she's hamming it up worse than it actually is? Because Chantal knows Chantal is the queen of Google. Did she Google some stuff and she's saying things to get people all riled up and worried to get herself used when actually it's just a dry cough and maybe it's really not that bad maybe the doctor told her you know like yeah it's just you know maybe they told her what it is but she wants people to speculate because she wants the views you know and also ramadan's coming up so if she's still sick it gives her you know a better reason for why she can't do ramadan because i'm sick guys i can't fast all day every day because i'm sick Let's see. Oh, this pie looks terrible, you guys. It really does. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, this pie is about a 15 bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, trying to finish this one strip. Let's see. Let's see. Do you think she signed over her AdSense to Sala? So here's what I know. Um... I mean, theoretically, she could sign it over, but she would have to sign the entire account to him because so Google, YouTube doesn't allow for a third party. Uh, what's the word? Um, when they put money in your account. Um, uh, OK, my hair is falling down. I got to put my what is that? Um, deposits like they don't allow for a third party deposit of AdSense so she would literally have to turn her entire channel over to salad she could not have her AdSense deposited into a bank account that only had salad's name it would a need to have 
her name on it also, which I don't know she can do in Kuwait, or she would have to entirely turn her channel over to Salad. And I can't see her doing that. So, you know, she can try to be as sneaky as she wants, but, you know, uh, Chantal is not going to out dirtbag Google, okay? They are the king granddaddies of dirtbags, and they know how to get money, so, and how to keep money. So, I don't see that working out for her. I, I, I really honestly don't think she would ever sign it over. And the thing is, is with Salad is, I don't think he's the sh sharpest tack in the drawer. So, she's probably told him, like, oh, I can't do that. And he's probably like, oh, okay. And stopped asking, you know. But th that's just what I think. Yeah, she's D Jocelyn's mom. She's a cockroach and a half. Let's see what's what did Harmony say? Yeah, no, I don't think she signed it over to Salad. And I and I think this was a you give me this, I give you that type arrangement. But honestly, if you watch when Salad's chatting in the background, sometimes she'll explain things. He might speak okay English. I don't think his comprehension, it's like like me. I can speak Russian. Well, I used to be a lot better. I can speak Russian, but um, my comprehension, if people are speaking fast or reading, is not the same as me being able to say things to other people. I don't think Salad's comprehension is all that good, you know, because you'll see her. So I don't think he watches the lives when she's not there. And I don't think he can look things up in English. So I think he real. this is my opinion. I really think she lies to him and, you know, and he's like, oh, okay. So, you know, for what that's worth, I, I just don't think his comprehension is as good as uh, he likes to pretend it is. So, uh, and I do, there's, there's something up with that guy. I think he, I think he was, you know how they're in a group of friends. A lot of times there's that, you know, there's that one guy He's not that smart, but he's nice. You keep him around. Salad really does seem like that, that kind of guy, you know, to me. Once again, these are all my opinions. Hey, Taco Bell. Good seeing you. We're sitting here talking about foodie beauty again today. She was, uh, she had to go to a Quady doctor and she was talking about how colorful it was. You know, in this dingy, dirty, colorful, probably never been sanitized waiting room. God knows, you know, like it just it. I'm just going to say it had a real hanger back alley vibe to it, but it was pretty. OK, yeah. Um, yeah, I think Amy may. I think she's scamming him and he's scamming her. Uh, I think she's I think she's a better scammer, though. I we are making uh, so with my homemade. um apple pie filling I made <laughs> and I had some pre-made dough I needed used up. So it's uh, this absolutely horrible looking uh, pie crust I have thrown together. <laughs> it's what I'm doing. I've got to get this last stripe on it. Uh, Taco Bell. Let's see. Yeah, she's still there. So uh, what happened Taco Bell is she went home. So she was there for 90 days. She went home and she's recently went back. Her, she has a second bankruptcy she has in Canada that was not discharged, which means she's still responsible for the money uh, because she didn't do what she was supposed to. And she has probably tens of thousands of dollars worth of back taxes. So now she's talking like she's going to stay in Kuwait, you know, blah, blah, blah. I, it, she, I think she thinks she's going to scam the Canadian government. But, yeah, she's back there. Um, I don't think that the dummy she's with understands that she has – she's – oh, shoot, I forgot to put butter. Ugh. Well, we've got holes, so I will put the butter in the holes. There we go. It's called bad baking. No, yeah, well, I call, yeah, Taco, I, um, I call him Salad, but he, Sala is his name. We call him Salad. Dude's a moron. He's short. He's a window-licking crayon eater. Can't stand that guy. I will check that out, Bali. Uh, let's see. What is your opinion of Allah Shabib, part of the scam? I think that Allah might have been on it, but it's like Allah hasn't been going Allah. Allah has not been going live lately. I think, uh, like I said, I don't think Allah and Murad and stuff, they don't want internet attention, you know? You, you know, you don't want to be shady on the internet. And so, you know, I, 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 he might have, I think he might, they, I think that the group of them are kind of scam-y, 
uh, and maybe they had plans. And then Chantal showed up, and I'm sure really soon that Ala Shabib and his buddies noped out, like, no, this is not, you know, do I think that they've probably gotten some money out of Chantal? Yeah, I think so, a thousand percent. We all know that Chantal, you know, I would have given you everything if you would have just fake loved me. I mean, everybody knows she said that about McStabby. So what's to think that she's not giving everything to, uh, to salad, you know, like that's just the kind of person she is. She likes to, I still think it's funny that she thought she was going to have four times as much money over in Kuwait because she's a dummy and didn't look at the exchange rate and realize her money's worth a fourth of what it is in Canada in Kuwait. Uh, yeah, I think I think they did not understand. Chantal fat fished them, and I don't think they understood the level of lazy moochy leechiness that Chantal. Like she has a pathological need to get her way. Yeah, all of that was all talk, no do. Um, let's see. I used to work in U.S. bankruptcy law. It seems similar to dismal here which means the state is no longer in effect yeah let's see foodie beauty just wants yeah F foodie beauty just wants like she's so stunted she she's just she's never had to grow up you know and at first i was like you can't blame parents and families for how people turn out but then i see how you know it's like, if I behave like that on the internet, somebody in my family would kick my door and rip my router out of the wall and maybe beat me to death with the cords, you know? And it just seems like, but then again, um, we know they don't like being, I, I, I know that her Aunt Phyllis is an absolute creep, just an absolute creep, like uh, Apple didn't fall far from the tree. Uh, her mom, you know, Shmi, I don't know. I guess, like, at what point does, a, you know, is, is mom happy with it? Who knows? You know, maybe... You, they don't want to be online. They don't want to deal with it. And she is a nearly 40 year old woman. So, uh, I think her aunt Phyllis is an absolute creep that preys on, uh, poor people in other countries. So, okay. So I've taken the butter, the two tablespoons of butter, and I have, uh, put it in between. So there's that. I don't know how this is going to turn out. This is probably a terrible idea. Uh, this is what happens I can't even walk and chew gum at the same time. So for me to think that I could bake and talk. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Any videos like you random about. Oh, that's awesome, Bali. Uncle Phyllis is awful. Do you, Does anybody remember specifically what it was, what she said? She made some really heinous comment about Jamaican men. I just, I can't remember what it was. Thank you, Jocelyn's mom. Thank you, Aaron. So, um, yeah. So, okay, we got this. I need to get a. A uh, sheet out for the bottom. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to cook anything else. Or, uh, yeah, Aunt Phyllis is the worst. I know that Mr. Drebo has once again taken my baking racks. He uses them for smoking fish, and it makes me mad. So, all right. So I need it to be 4:25 for 15 minutes. And then let me suck this for 15 minutes. I've preheated my oven, <laughs> my 1970-something uh, double oven. Let's see what's chat saying. Yeah, Phyllis is disgusting, Amy May. She really is. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Jocelyn's mom. She made some comment about looking for field workers because just, just scummy, scummy. Yeah, Sean, uh, Phyllis is the equivalent to those those creepy older men that go to Thailand for little girls. She's the equivalent, but she's looking for little boys. It's gross. Yeah, exactly, Taco Bell. The older, the better, man. So, okay. I'm going to turn this on bake. No, not. Okay. I'm going to turn it down to 425. I, what I do is I preheat it to 450, so when I open it, all the heat comes out. It stays the temperature I want without the... So middle of the oven is what I'm guessing. Like I said, I'm not a baking person. So there we go. 425. 
start. So my question is, is do I just clean this up and we'd be done? I suppose I can start cutting up and prepping. So I have a bunch of vegetables and stuff that I really need to use up. I got some onions, some little carrots, cauliflower that I was thinking about making like little mini quiches because like I said, three weeks since I've gone to the grocery store longer. So it's getting pretty dismal around here. Um, okay. That's a tiny bit of butter. Um, Let's see. Talk a little bit better. Oops. Exactly. Yeah, and the, the thing is, is, oh, Lini, awesome. You're a baker, so <laughs> I'm terrible at baking. I need some tips. I need some help. Um, so the fact that Chantal is a th nearly 39-year-old woman that has no close, I mean, you here's what I've learned, you know, is that when you can't keep anybody around you in your life, it's probably not everybody else. It's you, but you know, and she just keeps moving on. And so I think that this group of guys, you know, I, I salad is some 28, 29 year old dummy who, I don't know what he thought. Maybe they thought they'd get money or whatever, but I, I think what scam for scam pound for pound, I think, uh, I think, chins yeah and i call her chins at this point like what what do you guys think about like the fact that those hijabs she's wearing are starting to look like scuba suit tops and have you noticed when she was out in the desert with that camel with the plaid because she has those um the other day when her and salad were uh streaming in the car he didn't even have any uh knuckles like it was just smooth skin she has got the smoothing filter and they've perfected them so much on on with these live filters is that you can do this live but there were no there were no wrinkles there were no knuckles on his hands because the smoothing filter was set so high and then when she was out in the desert and she had that plaid pattern on did you see in the the how it was doing this and she, her size kept changing and the the lines almost look like they're rippling. It's because the slimming pattern on it was locking in on these moving lines and it couldn't do what it needed to do. My opinion, I'm not a filter expert, but I know a glitch in filter. Um, and have you noticed like, you know, she doesn't have magically have a hijab that holds her face in all the way. Cause if you notice when she pulls it out, how all of a sudden it goes poop like that, it's because the black frame around it has been disrupted and the slimming filter doesn't know what to do. So you get to kind of see an semi unslimmed cheek. That is what's going on. Um, once again, another opinion, I am so tired of people saying, Oh, this looks swollen and that looks swollen. Here's the dealio. The human body is not meant to have that much fat on it. Uh, Bilateral asymmetry, very common in human beings, especially with fat distribution. So it could very well be that one side of her face is just more fat is distributing to it. it that is the way the human body works. It's, it's not, you know, is it lymphedema? Is it lipedema? Is it an abscess tooth? Oh, my God, she'd be in so much pain. She'd be so sick. Lymphedema or lipedema, she would be having significantly more problems. She is a super morbidly obese, middle-aged woman that eats sugar, fat, and salt, and the fat is running out of places to distribute itself. So I view her one larger cheek as the equivalent of an Amy Slayton forehead bump. That's just my opinion, you know? Yeah, her chin's genitalia. They glitch when she goes to move that thing, you know, but it looks, she looks absolutely ridiculous. Um, and did you notice the other day when she was cooking, when she was cooking, oh my God, the Lipton instant soup and she threw potatoes in it. Uh, did you see the thing where you could see her throwing her gut up onto the stove every time she walked up to it? Like, dude, it's not good. You know, let's see, what's Jocelyn talk about? Yeah, her chin glitching. I'm sneaking a peek while working, being naughty, Stephanie. <laughs> I love it. Let's see. So let's see. Oh, Taco Bell, you couldn't be fat if you cried. That's what you're talking about. You're gorgeous. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I am, I'm going to wipe this down. And while we're waiting for the, oh, my God, did I start the timer? Yeah. 
um, I am going to prep some vegetables because so basically what it is, is you can go through and you can grab the veggies out of your fridge and you top, chop them up. Like I'm going to throw in a little cauliflower, a little carrots, a little onions. Um, cause that's what I have left. And, uh, you know, kind of like sweat them down so they get a little more caramelized. And then I've got some, uh, ham in there I need to use. I'm going to chop up. And then basically what you do is you kind of whip whip a bunch of eggs together. So they make like a scrambled eggs and add a tiny bit of like heavy cream or something. And then you add them to individual muffin pans and you throw the sauteed vegetables and like the ham or the bacon or whatever you need to use up in there and you cook them. And they're almost like little mini quiches, right? And so I've got these vegetables I need to use up. I hate wasting food. It's something easy. Um, so I figured I, ah, so, you know, I'm just going to start prepping. Yeah, I would have, I would have people come up here with me, but I don't have a way for do, for doing that from my iPad, unfortunately. So, um, let's see. I thought that too. Yeah, Chantal is flat out putting her gut on the stove every time she walks up, and uh, her the you know because we she has you know the gut. And then below it, she has the apron that hangs down. And then below that, she has the most unfortunate globule of fat, I guess you could say, from her, what is it, her pubis mons that hangs down. That's that's the the basketball size hanging fat sack that it's it's down past her knees at this point. I honestly think so, because gravity is not just a good idea. It's the law. And at 40 years old, all that weight is pulling down. I mean, she is absolutely massive, you know, for five foot one. She is huge. Um, all right. I've got this swipe down. The ball sack, exactly. Uh, and like I said, this isn't a commentary. Like, like I said, that's not why I find Chantal gross. I find her gross because she's an absolutely vile, disingenuous uh, energy vampire of a human who just happens to be super morbidly obese. And unfortunately, she does have a... I think she mostly has trolls, but I think she does have a few sad, lonely individuals who... Maybe they're older. Maybe they feel like they need to mom her. Maybe they too are overweight and they felt bullied. So they listen to her. And that's, that's really dangerous is when you have somebody that's super morbidly obese handing out lies about how they cured their diabetes that kills people. Like think about, think about like the average person, you know, you know, that guy, it's like, yeah, he's not, he managed to not kill himself and he's, he's made it to 30, 40 years old, but you know, he's not the Chinese penny in the pond. You know what? And think of him as the average human being. Remember, half the people on the planet are stupider than that. So it stands to reason, and this isn't me like education shaming, it stands to reason that there are some lower watt light bulbs out there that listen to Chantal and they believe what she says. And it's dangerous. Talk about the blind leading. What is it? The In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. So that's just my, yeah. Yeah, it cannot be comfortable having that huge. Can you imagine? Like, so, like, I'm like five, nine and a half, five, ten, and I weigh like a buck 37 to a buck 40. Like, Chantal is literally like two and a half more of me, you know, but she's only five foot one. So she's literally about this tall. And it all goes out because it cannot be comfortable, you know. And so I, she's always saying, oh, my asthma, my asthma. No, Chantal, I'm sure you might have asthma, but you also can't breathe because you got an extra 250 to 300 pounds sitting on your lungs, you know, on such a small frame. I have some unfortunate coroner stories about people built like her, but uh, I don't want, I'm cooking. I don't feel like discussing that. But let me just say it's it doesn't work out well to be as big as her at her age. Yes, she is vile and it's, it's her behavior and she doesn't care about anything. And she's just, she, she just, she uses people and things and like the planet has enough problems, you know, weeble wobble shape. Yeah. You know, everybody knows visceral fat is the worst kind of fat, you know, like if you're going to be a woman and you're going to be big, you know, you want it here, maybe even up here. But right here, that's, you know, visceral fat is the worst kind of fat. It's literally organ killers. All right, I'm going to clean this up real quick, and then we'll 
I'll chop some. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm sorry. I'm so disorganized. Like I said, I just, I've been sitting here alone for like days and I just, today I, I snapped. I snapped. Absolutely snapped. Okay. Let me put this up. Okay. It's vanilla. Vanilla. Sorry, I'm doing a Chantal and I'm over here. I'm not trying to ignore everybody. I'm just trying to kind of clean up a little bit. So, all right. This can go back in the fridge. Okay. I got to clean that fridge out too. Ugh. Mr. Grebo, he tends to just throw things in there and just, ugh. Yeah. Okay. Let me get out cutting board. Let's see. Let's see. I made top ramen. I love top ramen. Baby bok choy. Oh, I bet you that was good, Jocelyn's mom. Yeah, it's I, I'm I'm the queen of like I've got a lot of weird things. Like I've got some box dinners and stuff. You know how you end up with it. I'll probably start pulling out and doing bad baking and questionable cooking with them. And you know how you can like zhuzh them up because they need to get used and. You know, things expire. Oh, thank you, Necesita. I'm going to try. Hey, good morning, Natural Ginger. I am up late. You're up early. It's good to see you, lady. It is. Don't worry about it, Amy Mae. New phones suck. Okay, let me put this up. So... Has anybody else in here ever made uh, these egg these egg dumps that I'm talking about? It's basically where you chop up a bunch of veggies, saute it down, and then throw them in with a bunch of scrambled eggs to make like little mini quiches. Because that's what I'm going to do. All right. So I've got some carrots. I've got some cauliflower, which kind of takes on flavor or whatever. And I've got some onion pieces that need to get used up. So... Okay, hold on. Is my uh, is my live? Is it going jerky? Like you guys aren't getting enough of a a signal? Yeah, that's still good. So we're just waiting on the pie. I started an apple pie for if anybody just rolled in. Let's see. Yeah, I'm the same Taco Bell. I make things and then I, I'm not going to eat it. Like if I've cooked it, I have no desire to eat it. And then, you know, and it's frustrating because you cook stuff. That's why I haven't I haven't been cooking much lately because Mr. Grebo has just been letting things go bad. I'm like, dude, I'm not killing myself if you're not, you know, comes home and he's like, oh, I stopped at Pizza Hut. Are you fucking kidding me? So, yeah. OK, that that knife is not going to cut it. All right, let me get a good knife. Hold on. Hold on. I'm still munching on that extra apple pie filling. It's really good. Let's see. Oh, I started watching her just for a relative, my French Canadian side. Oh, it's funny enough to see it. Yeah, Chantal, Chantal is just, she's just so terrible, man. It's, she's got to be an embarrassment. I'm so happy. And, and, and so, yeah, let's speaking of hypocrisy, how she keeps talking about BBJ was old and suffering. Have you noticed the cat as I'm waving a knife around? Have you noticed that the cat gets older every time she talks about it? So she got BBJ late in the year 2004. It's now the beginning of the year 2023, you know. So she's had the cat realistically up, let's see, about 18 years. So let's say BBJ, for her to be 21 years old, 
BBJ would have had to have been at least three years old. And I've seen photos of BBJ, Casey, when she was younger with Chantal. And she looked kind of like an adolescent cat. Like maybe she was a year, year and a half. And in fact, Chantal has said before, you know, that BBJ wasn't super old when she got her. So Chantal keeps making this cat older and older, where realistically, the cat... You know, she might be 19, 19 and a half years old. I mean, I had a cat that lived to 22, and she was just fine until she was 21 and a half years old. So, okay, hold on. Uh, we got to turn the, I got to check the pie, and we got to turn the heat down. So, hold on. Oh, okay, the crust is getting extra brown. So, let me turn this down to 350, and we're going to have to, uh, darn it, okay. Houston, we have a problem. <sighs> Hold on. We got to get some. Uh... Tin foil around the. Uh, to keep it. from. I don't want it to brown anymore. We don't want it. <laughs> Hello. We don't want it to brown anymore. So, okay. Hold on. Yeah, it's not burnt. It's just dark brown. So we need to protect it. Um. So, yeah, Chantal is now, like, it's a 21-year-old cat. I'm sorry. I'm going to guess BBJ is at most, at most 20 years old. Probably closer to 19, maybe 19 and a half. So Chantal keeps making the cat older and older because it benefits her. Once again, Chantal lies. You know, and she's talking about severe arthritis. All old people have arthritis. It's just the nature of the beast, you know. Chantal has arthritis. I mean, we should put her down. And she's talking about, oh, severe heart problems. Well, guess what? Uh, infections in animals that run amok, like, I don't know, a UTI, causes heart murmurs. I had a heart murmur for a while. You know? So, you know, not a reason to put an animal down. And uh, her kidney problems can be fixed by putting her on special food. Problem solved. So this, this cat, you know... But according to Chantal, things like that, it's cruel and unusual. So does that mean that we should use the same logic on her? Like, no, Chantal, you don't get to go to the doctor. We just need to put you down, you know? She's just so hypocritical. All right. I'm sorry. I'm ranting again, guys. It's apple pie. Yes, it is, natural ginger. Um, it's the pie filling. Like, I, I meant to make a video this fall of me making this with uh, my buddy Snivel and Weasel. But, like... It just took up so much footage. And then right after we made the pie filling and all the applesauce is when I started doing um, daily vlogs. And believe it or not, it takes a hot minute to to get just those one minute videos actually take more work than I thought. Like I thought it would just be easy breezy. No, it actually takes a lot of work, you know, because you got to get them edited. You got to figure out what you're going to keep, what you're not going to keep, you know. And so it just, it takes a lot of energy and time. And so I just, ha I never got around. And then I started running out of room on my iPad. So I think I accidentally deleted some of the footage from when we were doing the canning. So yeah. So yeah, that was a long explanation, natural ginger of this is apple pie filling that me and sniveling weasel canned up ourselves this last September, this next year. Um, I'll probably still be doing daily vlogs when I do it. So it'll all probably get vlogged this next year. All right. I think, man, I wish like if I could buy, here's something I want invented. Let me know if, if maybe it's already invented is actual rings, eight inch, 10 inch, nine inch rings of tinfoil that are ready made. You can just put around pies. How lovely would that be? Instead of trying to do, excuse my language, whatever Tom fuckery I have going on here. Jeez. Oh, my God. So, okay. So, and so, like, earlier in here, somebody that I know, uh, Melissa stopped in. I'm sure she probably thinks that I'm psychotic because, like, discussing Chantal, who else here finds that they try to discuss Chantal with, like, did I say hi to you, uh, Jarella? Yeah, I think I did. Like, who here tries to discuss Chantal with like normal people and they look at you like you're psychotic like what are you talking about are you talking about like a soap opera like why do you watch that shit you're like no this is an actual human like you cannot tell normal people about this hobby you have and this person and that you know I'm in I'm invested at this point I want to see what happens 
And so, like, yeah, somebody dropped in here that knows me from something that has nothing to do with Chantal. And I'm sure at this point, um, they probably think that there's something seriously wrong with me. Because, you know, why am I ranting about this super morbidly obese Canadian uh, animal abuser on the Internet? I don't know. It's, it's, it's my hobby. So, all right. Let me set the timer for... I'll set it for 35. It should probably cook for more like 45, but here we go. So um, let's see. Let me look at chat. Uh, turns out BBJ is only 17. I think Pete spilled the tea. She was a kitten in 2006. Some, yeah, like I said, she supposedly got it late in 2004. And see, that's when Chantal says she got her, but I was like, or is that when... BBJ was born and they picked her up shortly after that because yeah, it's like I said, I really don't think that cat, that cat is not 21 years old. And she keeps getting older and older every time Chantal tells the story. So I think well, we know Chantal lies. So I think she's lying. I don't think BBJ is 21 years old. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Aaron Tay. Nobody understands. Like, like I said, somebody stopped in here that knows me, you know, and there, I, I know, I don't know. They're probably never going to speak to me again. They're gonna be like, what the hell's wrong with you? I don't know. You know, it's no different than I can remember my grandma used to watch all my children. And I used to think that was stupid. And then I got sucked into it. What's going to happen with Erica? Is Haley going to run away? Like, you know, this was years ago, but yeah, it's, except for this is a real life person that has real life consequences that is actively out here being a horrible human being. And like, basically grifting and e-bagging it's just like yeah it's it feels good when karma you know when the chickens come home to roost let's see hey clarky it's good seeing you man Clarky. so let's see oh let's see oh yeah there was somebody somebody went to the 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 villa like i said i've i've kind of I have kind of stopped there there are so many new channels popping up for Chantal I just can't keep up and I don't bother you know um but yeah if somebody apparently actually went to the villa and was trying to talk to the neighbors that happened yeah yes my friends and boyfriend think I'm not yes Necessita they they do they they think there is something wrong with us so it's like are you still here Taco Bell because I, I've, I'm always trying to explain to Taco Bell. And she's like, what are you talking about? What do you watch, this psycho? Okay, so I got some onions cut up. Oh. And I'm, I'm not sitting because I'm lazy. Like, if anything, I prefer to stand when I cook. But because of the way I have my iPad um, duct taped to the wall on the ledge. And so if I stand up... You can't see me, so I'm kind of forced to sit down and cut because this was not well planned out. Like, you know, just wasn't well thought out. A little ranty. Yeah, your, your friends and boyfriend think you're nuts. I hear you, Necessita. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see, Aaron. see yeah goldwater rule that's yeah that's was who it was and you know and then there's like that yo mama guy i can't stand that dude i just there's so many channels like i just don't want any part of it and they have their facts wrong and yeah i just i i am just here at this point for uh divine retribution or you know whatever's gonna happen and i just hope the camera's rolling is that a terrible attitude to have probably but you know it's between me and my maker so i just The, the 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 BBJ arc it was a bridge too far for me at that point. The the finger guns was a little much, and then the BBJ arc was that was just that's all she wrote for me. It's she's gonna get what she's gonna get, and I'm okay with that. How long have we been on? 160. So we've been on an hour and 40 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna get this. Well, we gotta stay on until the apple pie is done. So I'll get this as prepped as I can. Okay. Let me get another bowl. So <laughs> this house, it has a working 
dishwasher, but I don't use it. I just store things in it because it's an older dishwasher and we just, we never had one when I was younger. So I just don't use it. Okay. I wish I had some celery to throw in these, but I don't. So, all right. I got the onions. Let's see. The broccoli actually went bad. Like, yeah, usually you can salvage broccoli, but no, this broccoli, it, it, it broke bad. <laughs> so, yeah, there's no salvage in said broccoli. But the cauliflower is still good. And it'll take on the flavor of the ham or whatever, you know, the ham and the bacon I need to use up. So we'll be okay. Let's see. Yep, I'm making apple pie, Clarky. Let's see. Is that my neighbor yelling? I'm hoping I'm good. So anybody's seen is like my neighbor tends to go down to check his mail, like literally in his boxers and that's it. And I caught him once, but then I know in my my vlog, I was laughing. I was laughing so hard. I accidentally deleted it. So I'm hoping soon I got to start paying more attention. I'll put that in my vlog. He just walks right down there, cotton boxers, whether it's raining or not. And yeah. Oh, he's listening to a radio outside. Okay. Let's see. Now I'm hungry, Amy May says. Okay, yeah, it was hilarious. Like, I look out, and it's like my naked neighbor, and I was so pleased. Like, and then it was like, and then one other time I videoed him, and it was hilarious. And then that was one of the times where, like, I was uploading it to the, uh, and I had recorded it through the YouTube app and not on my phone. And so when the YouTube app crashed, I lost all that footage. And so I had to piece my vlog back together and that was not available because it wasn't on my phone. It was, yeah. So yeah, even one minute vlogs take, I thought it would be just be easy peasy. No, it takes, it takes a little bit, <laughs> you know, it's not like it's going to break the bank, but it takes some thought. To not just, I don't know, not to be absolutely mind-numbingly boring. Like if I ever turn into Chantal where I just turn the camera on. Yeah, somebody come kill me. All right. Oh, okay, I got to rinse this board because the onions are making my eyes water. Hold on. Okay, it's going to get loud for a second. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, shoot. I just dropped. Okay. Um, oh, I'm going to put, I know what I'll do. I'm going to put this over the onion so I don't have to smell them because, ugh, my eyes are watering. Okay. Okay. This, I got my butter. So unorganized. All right. What is that? That's, it's flour from making... These are tops from the, all right, this is, goes to my compost. I'm hoping I'm going to get Mr. Grebo to build me some um, raised flower beds so maybe I can grow some vegetables in the backyard. We'll see. Mr. Grebo's been in a terrible mood for like the last three months, so we'll see. Um, what am I making now? So what I'm doing, Jocelyn's mom, is I have some vegetables that are going back because I've not gone to the grocery store in like three weeks. And so I'm chopping them up so I can saute them down with a little salt and pepper. And then I'm going to do like little mini quiches because I've got some eggs. So I'm just going to whip, you know, 12 eggs together because I'm just going to use standard size muffin tins. I'll grease them. I'll add a little heavy cream to my whipped up eggs, like scrambled eggs. And then I will take the sauteed vegetables um, and I have some ham that I need to use up and throw a little bit of that in each muffin. And then I've got like some Swiss cheese and stuff and a little bit of uh, like cheddar cheese that needs used up and add that along the top and then bake them and have like little mini, I think that they were called like egg dump muffins or like little tiny mini quiches kind of. And they're good for breakfast and stuff. So it's a good way to keep stuff from going bad. I could have made some more like soup. I think, what was it? One time I made some split pea soup on here, but I didn't want to make soup again. I didn't feel like making red beans. And these are a weird combination of vegetables. So yeah, it's mini quiches for lack of, you know, to put it in the simplest terms. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Jocelyn's mom. Yeah, like egg bites. It's, uh, 
yeah, they're like, uh, yeah, soup is good anytime. I'm always down for soup. So yeah, maybe next time I, I really do need to get some grocery shopping done. I've really just, you know, cause you know, I do it online, I get it all. And then I have Mr. Grebo go pick it up, but I just haven't, I don't know. He's been working weird hours and I just, yeah. So I'm using up like cauliflower. It takes on the flavor of whatever it's in. So it'll be fine. I've got ham. I've got some bacon that needs used up. I have some like big muffin tins, but I'm, I'm going to start with smaller ones. And so, all right, I think, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to mince it fairly fine because, you know, you don't want to have like three quarters of your cup taken up by a big chunk of cauliflower. But I'll, I'll cook the cauliflower in with the ham or with the bacon so, you know, it absorbs the flavor. I think they'll be pretty good. Has anybody had these before? I've not actually made these before. Usually I just make soup. And I'm not overly bothered with making breakfast. Stuff like that. So if anybody's ever made egg bites before, let me know. Yep, soup is good anytime. I love soup. Yep, I'm going to put, uh, I have some bacon that needs used up and I have some ham. So, you know, some kind of salty pork product. Enter jokes here, right? <sighs> Man. Okay, let me put these in a bowl. Okay. All right, got about 24 minutes left. 23 to 30 minutes left on that pie. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, Necessita, I, I get it. Lurk away. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Thank you, Necessita. And it is good to see a natural ginger. Like one of these days, oh, because you can't I can't I can't bring people up with me on uh, on an iPad. Just none of those um, apps allow for it on an iPad. I would need to do it on a laptop. And the only laptop I have is the one I use for my D and D, and it doesn't have a camera on it. So, you know. One of these days I'll get it figured out. All right. So this is the cauliflower. There's onions. Okay, the cauliflower, the leftover stems, they're kind of getting funky. They can go in the compost. I got to admit, I'm sitting here eating. Um, the leftover apple pie. It's pretty good. Mm. It's a tiny bit nutmeggy, but I think that's because it's not cooked. I think once it cooks, the Mr. Grebo, like his favorite thing ever is like pumpkin muffins. Like he loves that pumpkin pie spice. So I think he'll be just fine with it. Like I said, bad baking. Let's see. Are you going to bed, Genitalia? It's really good to see you. Thanks for coming in. I'll try to be a little more consistent and I'll try to be like a little more organized. It's just tonight, man. I just needed, I wanted to make a pie for Mr. Grebo and I just was like, ugh, you know? And it's like we said, you can't rant to anybody else and just, you know, call BS on it. So we'll sit here. And we'll finish this conversation. We have about 25 minutes before the alarm goes off. The pie will come out of the oven and then we can wrap it up. But um, I'm just trying to think, like, is there anything we haven't covered? You know, is there anything else? You know, I guess all the rumors about Chantal. Uh, and I know a lot of people hate Kiwi Farms, but on the other side of the coin, um, it's an excellent archiving site for somebody like Chantal who continuously deletes. It's like, it's the only place where her entire catalog is backed up. So, you know, you can continue to call her out on it. So is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. It is what it is. 
it's harder to find though. I know, I know when you type into Google searching for foodie beauty, now Kiwi Farms doesn't automatically come up the way it used to, which is unfortunate because anybody that she's interacting with really needs to know her history. That's just my opinion. Yeah, I said goodnight to you, Jenna, but if I didn't, I'll say it again. Do sleep well. Yeah, I think I will. Cause like, I like to go live. Like I think everybody voted like Friday evenings and it's a little late tonight, but yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to start trying to, what, what, what I plan on doing is like, you know, like know what I'm going to make, have my points written down so I can talk and bake or cook at the same time and uh, potentially just, sorry, turn my oven on and potentially, um, you know, share the recipe tonight. This was not well thought out, like I said. So this isn't really very good for, you know, somebody, a relaxing baking session or something like, you know, maybe I'll make cinnamon rolls next time. I can screw those up. Or, uh, you know, like I need to make some red beans and rice because I actually have a box red beans and rice set that um, box that needs to get used up. And you can really zhuzh that up. You know, you add some andouille sausage and you add fresh tomatoes and you know the red beans so it's more like red beans and rice and maybe a little red pepper you know smoked paprika so yeah yeah thank you holy moly yeah I'm, I'm really good off the cuff it's the whole that's why I have problems with baking overall because baking is chemistry and chemistry does not have room for winging it you know and that's why it terrifies me versus cooking that you know it's got too much salt, you know, four more cups of unsalted stock, problem solved, right? Just double it. Let's see, what did Le Lini said something? I saw that foodie beauty animal abuser is trending. Is it? So I don't use Twitter, really. Like, I've only just figured out, really, how to even check DMs on it. But, yeah, Twitter always confuses me. But she's starting, once again... I don't need to keep saying my opinions because obviously these are my opinions because I'm speaking the words. But um, she's going to start getting the kind of attention she really doesn't want, you know, at some point. There are so many. I she, And she can't even pull a thousand people and her views. Like, what are her views looking at? Hold on. Let me see. And, and like the other day, what was it? The uh, like. She can't even, you know, she'll go live for two hours and not even make any super chats or what was it? She made three dollars on one of them. So she's not making the super chats. Um, you know, I think a huge portion of her um, of her members are actual trolls that are just trying to see how far they can, you know, if they can goad her into doing more and more ridiculous things. I'll give them that. They're, they, they come across as loyal. Um Okay, I need to rinse these, you know, uh, so I accidentally, they sent me, I got a bunch of these, um, you know, these baby carrots. Oh my gosh, and this guy has like slime or something on him, so yeah, these need to get used up, what the heck. Okay, it's going to be loud for a minute, sorry guys, but I got to rinse these because they're gross. Okay, that should be good. Rinse the rest later. Let's see. What was I looking up? I was looking something up. Oh, Chantal. But yeah, as far as what she's making, foodie beauty. I mean, I I think she makes, I, I really honestly think the way her views are going and stuff, she might be down to where maybe, she's maybe making only four or 5,000 Canadian dollars. Let's say 5,000. That's still only 1,250 Kuwaiti dinars a month. That is not an overly... You know, let's see. I don't want Social Blade. I want uh, Playboard. So yeah, she's not going to be making the money. And like the 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 pre she was doing okay with her pre-recorded, you know, pre natter, and then she made all the money because of you know the crackhead Olympics. But now, like her money did not go back to pre crackhead Olympics levels. It, I honestly think it minimum halved itself. That's just what I think. I could be completely wrong, but she's just asking a little bit too desperate. So let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Clarky, like her getting in trouble after Cuba. So it, at this point, the only person that's going to get her in trouble is her. And I think it's going to be her health that takes her out, you know? 
So let's see what are super chats. Average video views, very low. So only 14.4% of her subscribers are technically watching her. And the fact like her, I think, uh, so she, she got up to like what, 93.8 and she's down to 92.5. So she lost over a thousand, 1200 subscribers. And I think a huge chunk of that were her active subscribers. I think she has so many dead subscribers on that channel. Maybe even some that she purchased because it just really won't go below that that low mark. So yeah, it doesn't bode well for her that she's actively scaring off. And then when she went and she had salad film, uh, the supposed halal slaughtering of the chicken, and she went on this entire, well, that's where meat comes from. Bitch, I'm from Alaska. I used to sweep, sweep up, you know, deer guts from the garage because that's what we ate was moose meat, deer meat, and salmon. So, you know, to have this buffoon from Canada where there's a huge industry slaughtering animals, it's like most people, especially in Canada and like Alaska, where I'm from, uh, know exactly where meat comes from. So for her to sit there on her fat sanctimonious ass and start talking about when she didn't even have the guts to waddle in there and film it herself, it probably stunk in there. And there was a wood cutting board. And I questioned how halal that was the way, you know, anyway. Yeah, she was trying to be shocking. Hopefully she just scared off some more of her, her audience. It's like, yeah, we know where meat comes from. Do you? And did you see when she was doing that cooking on the stove? You know, she kept throwing her gut up on the stove. And then she was like, ooh, what's this? Ooh, why, this, why is the liver in there? It's like, yeah, it's called meat cupcake. Let's see. Yeah, Lini, I agree that she has bought subs and she has dead subs. And that's how come it doesn't drop below the 92.5. I can't picture her walking in a circle. Yeah, and uh, holy moly, it was. It was pure spite. What is the website that you can see the amount she made? Uh, go to Playboard. Here, let me show you. Let me see if I can find her. So for today's total revenue, according, yesterday's revenue was zero. Today's revenue was $3. Uh, last seven days, it says she's made only $100 in Super Chats. So, yeah, it's Playboard. Can... So, oh, it's backwards. Sorry. I don't have, so yeah, but go to Playboard, you know, and they're pretty accurate. And you got to remember, those are gross amounts. So somebody's, and they round up. Somebody says two, sends two ninety nine, it rounds up to three. But you got to remember, YouTube takes 30% of that. So of $3, 30, 30, and 30, that is 60, 90. So 90, that, so that means technically there's only uh, $2 and 10 cents coming her way out of that $3. So you, you have to remember that too. Um, so on the high that she did earlier today, she only made $3 healthcare in a foreign country is up to only 6.7 thousand views. And that wasn't a live stream. Uh, her high that she just did a few hours ago only has, two, according to this only has 2.8 thousand views that live with $3. Her grocery haul and soup hack has nine point. 3,000 views. I am so freaking sick. Has 13,000 views. Um, and then I hate this country. It has about 20,000 views, but she only has $43 in super chance. So it's pretty, uh, pretty dismal. There is no more super chat money, you know. All right, let me get these carrots. How much is their rent? That is a good question. Um, I don't think she's ever said how much the rent is. I don't just, you know, she, she's been pretty, pretty catty about that. So does anybody have any, like I said, I've not spent the time. What a standard slummy. And I suspect where she's living isn't someplace you would find on a website. That's nice. It's more like a friend of a friend's brother who like, you know, redid his garage and basement and put in two or three illegal apartments. Just my thoughts. You know, I could be wrong. But I guess we could Google, like, you know, what the average rent is in Kuwait. You got to remember, Kuwait has some incredibly wealthy people, you know, which really skews. Oh, yeah, Ariana, I've got an apple pie in the oven. You know, I've been ranting. Let's see. Yeah, somebody check Kiwi Farms. 
under a thousand, I reckon. Yeah, I agree. Natural ginger. Um, it's and the way she was like, remember when she was first moving into the villa and she's like, Oh, it's kind of dirty. They have kids. I'm like, bitch, you cracked a ceramic tile on that kitchen floor from throwing yourself down a few of them. And you know, it, it was dirty when she moved in. It, there were cat feces. I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure like the cat feces and the cat urine, like anybody that's been around cats that know if you don't clean the box, they go elsewhere. And that soaks not only into the carpet, but the carpet pad and then into the sub flooring. And, you know, you can even go through, rip up the carpet, the carpet pad and kills, which is really expensive paint for sealing in everything. You still can't get rid of that cat smell. I mean, that is a kind of forever smell. So uh, I'm really curious, you know, if Pete's will ever get honest about, you know, how much he's potentially going to get charged or did they just let him go because he's broke or, you know, like once again, it's people like Chantal and Pete's that make it hard for other people to get places to rent and why you need 47 uh, references and stuff and credit checks because dirt bags like that ruin it for everybody. Yeah. So remember how she was talking about how salad, oh, he has his own house and he has this and he had that, you know, did she think that was the truth or did she know what she was getting into? I think they both kind of catfished each other. That's just what I think. Yeah. Ammonia. Exactly. Holy moly. So, the, so how, how, here's the layout. Like, so you, you walk in and the living room goes off this way. You walk down the hallway, the bathroom's right here. At the end of the hallway is the bedroom door. And then right along that wall, there's like an alcove that goes in. She's got, remember, along the backside of it is uh, that metal stand, the, the stainless steel stand where she had that outdoor cooker. So she has that there. And then it L's around and there's the sink. And then it used to be a washer and dryer and then the fridge. They've pulled the washer and dryer out of there. They've slid the fridge down so it's sitting next to the sink and then added the stove on the end. You want me to draw it? Would that help? Or does that make sense? Yeah, she, hot shot businessman. Let me know if you guys just want me to to draw it if if it's still confusing but yeah so that and so where did the washer and dryer go well first of all uh washer and dryers you can have washer and dryers like i had some at the last apartment i lived at where it drained into the toilet and then i had a uh, a little mini uh compact portable dryer for my apartment i was so happy well go watch the videos they got like thirty thousand views uh, that i used in my apartment so i didn't have to use but you know and you can vent them inside but those are very specific machines and the the ones that salad had in those kitchen are not those sort of machines they would need a special plug-in i would guess and they would also probably need venting and water and stuff they, they weren't the kind that you hook up to a, a bathroom sink like my little portable one so for him to just say oh he's just moving those into the bathroom we'll see first of all they have wet bathrooms over there so having exposed wires and appliances that aren't made to be in wet rooms not smart might be entertaining though she's streaming and steps on a wet floor and i don't know hope springs eternal but um so I, I i suspect that potentially maybe that's not why we're not getting the apartment tour we keep getting promised just because that washer and dryer isn't there anymore because so, yeah, let me see. Does anybody need me to draw a diagram or does that make sense? Okay, Ariana says it makes sense. Yeah, she says it's in the bathroom, but I, I even if she moved it into the bathroom, like, it, it wasn't, it didn't look like the kind that hooked up. Like I said, I, I have a video on my channel about portable, portable washing machines because I used to live in a 500 square foot apartment for years, you know, not on the first floor, not on the top, but on the third floor. And it was a lot, you know, when you have to use forearm crutches and stuff, I can't schlep laundry or I'd get to the bottom of the stairs and I'd be stuck there for hours because I couldn't physically get back up. And so um, I know a thing or two about portable and those were not portables. And so uh, were there hookups for them in the, uh, the kitchen? Don't know. But I highly doubt there's anything to hook them up to in the bathroom. So we'll see. The llama, the kitchen chair, the poopy couch. Exactly. All went in the dumpster. Condo was under Pete's. Yeah. I'm wondering, though, because, like, um, you know, there's some places where even if you can't, you don't qualify for the credit and it goes underneath somebody else's name 
anybody living there still needs to be on the lease though. So it could affect Pete's credit, but it doesn't mean they couldn't theoretically go after Chantal also, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so, so d does it, does it make sense though how I said it was laid up? So I, I don't I don't know if that washer and dryer is still there. And if it is still there and she moved it in the bathroom, I highly doubt it works. And I would hope it's not plugged in because that's just dangerous and stupid. And when she was showing that bathroom, did you see up above there were a couple the the hot water heater was up in there and it was completely jerry rigged with like some screw ties on the end. I was like, oh my God, like it's just an electrocution waiting to happen. You know. The, and uh, the door for the, that bedroom really does kind of look like an exterior door. Like I said, the place really looks like it. it's a remodel. And, and, and that where the all, her alcove living room goes off and she's got that little window. And she's like, well, it's outside, but it's inside. I don't know. Like I said, if it's in the, like the bottom of a stairwell from a house up, you know, it's just, it's interesting. It's interesting. Let's see. Sorry, I'm just rambling all away. Yeah, so yeah, if anybody isn't clear on where she moved that washer and dryer, well, supposedly, and where the stove is. So the stove basically is flush with the going down the hallway to her bedroom. The stove is right there. And, you know, so we saw her walk in this way when she, you know, when she was doing that cooking. I suspect, because she's not at, so wide this way that she can just you know, fit down it this way. But I think when she's facing that stove, notice how she was kind of always off on, on an angle. I don't think that Chantal can comfortably, like, you know, at the front of the stove, I don't think she can physically get in there, throw her gut up and really comfortably fit. I think what we were seeing is here's the front of the stove and she was slightly turned this way. So, you know, we saw the, the wall, but you know, a little bit of the door jam, I'm pretty sure was show, showing too, because she was, she had to turn herself because she can't comfortably fit between, you know, her stove front and the wall behind her because she is so incredibly huge. Final destination movies. <laughs> Also, the washer and dryer made that crazy high-pitched airplane landing sound. Yeah, that can't be normal. I, like I said, it's it's suspicious because we, we know Chantal, the second she moved into that uh, the luxury villa, she, she, you know, she was up and down stairs and showed everything up. We're not getting that, you know, and she made a lot of judgment. She's always making comments about people living in trailers. I live in a trailer, you know, fight me. <laughs> Yeah, it's a fire hazard. And we were talking about it, Stephanie. Like, she says he locks her in. I don't know. Unless I see the door without keys in it. Because Chantal lies. And she likes to controversy. And we know she does stuff like that. We've we've heard the message from McStabby and stuff. So, you know, she might just be saying it for attention. It's what she does. Let's see how much time we got left on this pie. I'm going to check it, too. Okay, I put it in for... There's about two minutes left, but I put it in for five minutes less than I should. So yeah, I'm going to cut up one more carrot. She is huge. Like she is absolutely. And then that's the other thing she was trying to say like, Oh, I got people stalking me. No, you, you, you ignorant buffoon. You are finally got enough notoriety. You are now infamous enough that complete strangers are starting to recognize you when they see you walking around Ottawa and or Montreal and they're filming you. That is what happens. You wanted to be Internet famous. Well, you're infamous, you know, your notoriety because you're an animal abuser. And like the movie, what said, don't fuck with cats. And so, yeah, people see you and they film you. Was this person following you? Obviously not. They filmed you walking by, you know. And so she tries to claim stalking and it just, it's, it's sad. And the, the hypocrisy, like I said, I just really hope the camera is rolling when karma comes to collect. So, Hey, white knight. I'm glad to see you. I'm making an apple pie. It'll be done in a couple minutes, hopefully. And I'm cutting up vegetables for somebody in here called them. They call them egg bites. They're like little mini quiches. So I can use up all my rotting vegetables because I haven't gone to the grocery store in three weeks. Has anybody else seen the price of vegetables? Anybody seen the price of groceries lately? My groceries, like for what I used to spend $100 on groceries, is now well over 
200 to 220. I mean, the prices have not only doubled, but in some places like tripled. It's insane what the prices have done around here. Wait. Did somebody get banned? It's insane. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, this, the, the, the cost of food is ridiculous. And that's the other thing, like just the way Chantal, and that's the other thing, not only was she an animal abuser, but the way she was just wantonly wasting when, you know, and, uh, it's just, it, this is not a time for excess. People are, are over it, you know, live within your means. Okay. I'm going to check. The pie is probably not going to be done. Uh, I'm going to, I keep this on top of my stove. Um, so I have more work. I think I'm going to have to cook it for another five to 10 minutes, but we'll check. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. I'm going to cook it for five more minutes. Okay. So that was 35. So we'll cook it for a total of 40. Let's see. How do I, I said five more. Okay. Let me get this. All right. Start. So yeah, Chantal is just, something's got to give. And I, I don't think she will get any repercussions from YouTube. I don't think she's living high on the hog, but I think she's managed. She makes just enough where she can eat by because she doesn't have a ton of bills right now. And I think she is above it, but I, I think her body, the, the way she treats her body, it's going to catch up to her. Cause you know, there's a lot, you think about it, do super morbidly obese. You think about it. Like once they get into their forties, it just, doesn't work out well. And she has been huge like that her entire life since she was very young, you know? Oh, and that's another thing. Everybody's saying, oh, she's got a new tick. I'm sorry. I've got Tourette's. Have you ever seen me? Yeah, I know what ticking is. What Chantal does is not a tick, you know? It's it's a habit. In fact, in her old videos from like 2017, 2016, the shh, I said shh. She even talked about how she picked that up from her grandmother because her grandmother tended to say things twice. So Chantal would be at the dinner table running her mouth and her grandma would say, shh, I said, shh. So a lot of the things that she does, she picked up because she was actually mocking her grandmother, but she would do it cutesy. But then when she did it online, when she first started doing videos or streaming, she got attention for it. So she kept doing it. Those aren't ticks, you know? Am I, am I trying to be an A-log towards some lull cow on the internet? No, TMI, probably. But anybody that's ever watched me for a hot minute can see that I blink a lot. And sometimes I just do some crazy stuff. And, you know, there'll be times where I will pre-record a video, you know, and I've never hid that I have Tourette's, uh, but I'll pre-record a video and I'll realize I'm ticking so bad, I won't upload it because <laughs> it's embarrassing, you know? So, but yeah, what Chantal does is... Uh, uh, I, I'll die on this hill. They're not ticks. They are things that she said that she got positive reinforcement for. And so they turned into habits and mannerisms. But am I a doctor? No. Do, do, do I know? No. But that's what I, I, you know, am I going to die on this hill? No, but I'm not going to agree with people saying, oh, it's a tick. That's right up there with, oh, she's got abscesses or lipedema or lymphedema. No. Sometimes people are just fat. Sometimes people just say things and they get a reaction. So they keep doing it. They become mannerisms and a habit. You know, not everything has a medical diagnosis. Once again, like I said, I'm not mad at anybody. And if anybody holds a different opinion, that's cool. But yeah, that's just kind of where I'm at. Sorry. Uh, let's see. A tick for Maya. She's more. Yeah, exactly. She's like a, a, a Rocky Mountain spotted tick with Lyme disease, man. She is. She's just a blood sucker. A slug, exactly. She everything for attention. Um, yeah, and so it, it, and that's just it. A lot of people seem to forget. As she used to say in her old videos, a lot of them things she says and does are things she picked up from her grandmother or things she used to do with family, you know, and that got her a reaction. So she started doing online, and then somehow those morphed into ticks. They're not fucking ticks, you know, like. One of these days I'll live stream when I'm having a really bad day and then everybody, I'll probably end up on the farms because I can be a ticky tacky mess sometimes. Let's see. And uh, yeah, 
And if when I'm speaking, if I am repeating things over, because sometimes I'll say, oh, you know, you know, over and over, um, let me know, because I, 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 I try really hard not to have those bad speaking mannerisms. Uh, and I use um a lot and like, but, you know, I'm Gen X, like, dude, fuck off totally, like, for sure. <laughs> That's how we talk. She is a blobfish, natural ginger. ginger. Hi, Stephanie. She is. She's a vampire. She's an energy vampire. Uh, and I think Salad thought he was going to get one over on her. It is curious, though, because, like, there, there has to be a method to the madness. Like, maybe he's just keeping her around as long as there's money coming in. Because, like, maybe he she lets him do whatever he wants. So maybe he's renting that place. And, like, uh, Ala, 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 you know, I'm not quite sure how to say his name. I don't want to be disrespecting. Um, but he said that he actually lives with his dad, you know, so I, I really don't think he lives there with them. They're so incredibly awkward that it just, that there's nothing, there's, there's not a little something, something happening between the sheets with those two. My opinion. I don't think he actually live, lives there. I think, uh, Allah Shabib, when he said, well, he still lives with his dad. I can believe that. So, but she, and she's paying for everything. I suspect. Hold on, I'll check chat. Oh, sorry. Dismiss. Okay. Let's see what we got. Um, I think it's done. Here, I'll show you in a minute. It needs to cool down for a minute. So this is a convection. It's, uh, yeah, it was like a ridiculously, like, $1,800 stove, Johnny drove down to Central Oregon and bought it from a guy brand new for like $325. And then what you have to do to get one of these wired into a double wide trailer, mm. but it's legal and it's done right and nothing's going to burn down. It just took some holes in the floor and like a few hundred dollars worth of uh, RV cables to plug directly into our fuse box, but it's all legal. So let's see. Um, comments. Like, no, we didn't. Like, um, like no, we don't. <laughs> right, holy moly? Dohan, the and. Lady Bo, yeah, I agree. Yeah, White Knight. Let's see, we don't. How she is. Let's see. Yeah, Chantal is just pie time. Yeah, we're getting there. It, it has to cool, but it does look done. Yeah. Oh. I guess I could rinse these and try using them again, but when it cools down a little bit, I'll show you guys here. Let me move the veggies out of the way. It's, it's really, it's molten, it's literally molten lava right now. So I'm not going to, let me turn the oven off. Okay. Yeah. I'll hold it up once it cools down so everybody can see it because it's, it is, it's molten lava right now. So, okay, it'll cool down. So we'll get ready to start wrapping it up. I just we will finish chopping. So let's see. We were talking about she's a vampire. She lies. She doesn't have ticks. There's so many people making excuses for her. I think, I think the majority of her members really are trolls at this point that just like to egg on the bad behavior. Um. I like how she's changed the tune, though, because, you know, we haven't got a of of basically, you know, and people live where they can afford. Like I, we lived in a tiny apartment forever because, you know, I live in the Pacific Northwest and the rents around here. And, you know, God, you can't even afford to buy a house around here. It's ridiculous. Houses that used to go for one hundred fifty thousand are now going for four hundred thousand dollars. You know, in the state of Washington, to even buy a starter home, you have to actually net over a hundred thousand dollars a year to even qualify for how it's just it's crazy it's absolutely crazy um but yeah she's not real eager to show that place and she's just the the hypocrisy i think every hopefully everybody's over it i know i am i'm i'm you know label me a horrible human being but i'm just here for the train wreck at this point and i pray i pray she is streaming when fate comes a knocking, 
Okay, so for if any if anybody just rolled in, I don't think so. I'm chopping up vegetables that are going bad in my fridge, so I can make little like mini quiches, egg bite, egg bites in muffin tins for like little breakfast goodies. That's what I'm chopping up, and uh, I made Mr. Gribo a pie out of uh, apples I canned up this last fall. <laughs> Let's see. Just for clarity in the title, there's no blood clots in the pie, right? Well, I don't know, Ariana. You know? <coughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, we were talking about Chantal's embolisms earlier and about, like, was she honest with that doctor? Um, and I know everybody's freaking out. Like, she could have embolisms, blah, blah, blah. Here's what I think. Once again, Grebo has an opinion. Shocking. Um Hold on. I need, do I need caffeine this late? I wanted to treat myself to a Diet Pepsi. Maybe I'll drink a caffeine-free one so I don't stroke out. I get a little passionate. Hold on. I'm going to grab a caffeine-free. By the way, I don't keep my soda in the fridge. I just, room temperature. When I was working in Mexico, ice will kill you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just the bacteria load. So, yeah, I started drinking everything room temperature. and I've just never gone back. Hold on. All right. I have an opinion. Let me check chat. Mr. Grebo can have the quiche. The pie is ours. Exactly. I'm sorry. I made this for my friends. You go eat the quiche, Mr. Grebo. And you guys, I know he's sweet, but I'm telling you, he's been an absolute monster lately. Like, oh, he's lucky he's so adorable because if he was not, I'm serious about that blue tarp shovel and maybe some lie. Or maybe I'm not. I don't know. Um, we'll see if I have some gorgeous looking tomatoes or roses this summer, right? Um, let's see. Yeah, she exactly, Bali. She has non-tent. Um, uh, yeah, I agree, uh, White Knight. 7-Up is good. So I've, I've got caffeine-free Diet Pepsi. Uh, so with, with these blood clots, Chantal has had them before. And I honestly think she knows what the symptoms are. Cause there are certain things like I have certain medical, certain medical conditions. Like once they've happened to you, you know, right? So I think once again, just me thinking, am I a doctor? No. Do I have a PhD or, uh, or, or excuse me, do I have a medical degree? No. You know, am I a doctor of osteopathy? No, you know, but I have various degrees and I've been around people and, you know, worked in an ambulance so uh, I think she knows the symptoms of her pulmonary embolism. And I don't think this is that. I think if it was, because we know Chantal, if she actually thinks there's something wrong, like in her pea mind, pea brain, she still thinks she's bulletproof like a teenager. But I think when certain things happen, it scares her. I think if she actually had symptoms of a pulmonary embolism, she would go right in and she would demand all the x-rays and all the things. Um, I don't think the symptoms she's currently having match up to that. And that's why she's not worried about it. But she likes people to think they should worry about it. Does that make sense, what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's it's her stirring the pot and baiting her audience, you know, and then all the conspiracy theories start going. It's like her saying salad locks are in. I don't know. Pies and lies. You know, that's part of the reason I made a pie night, too. Pies and lies. Why? Because Chantal lies. That she's a lying liar who lies, as Milk Tea would say. A lying liar who lies. So why would, you know, like, all of a sudden this became an issue? Oh, he locks me in. Like, cause do you think for a second that if she was actually being locked in there, she wouldn't have said something sooner? Mm. I smell something rotten in Denmark. And it's growing underneath Chantal's fupa balls. She's disgusting. Exactly, Clarky, for attention. Um, yeah, ER deflection, because she doesn't have the cat. And notice, do you see when she first got back there? Hell, we bitter. I had my money on that pamster. I wanted her to take the end off of her finger, you know. But I think she realized really quickly, like, notice how she started talking about Harry and got such vicious backlash that it's almost like Harry doesn't exist anymore. She really was going to try for a hamster deflection and do an acute arc. But here's the deal, Chantal. Don't fuck with cats, you know. 
Ask Luca Magnata, who, by the way, is also another weirdo from Canada. Just saying. Um, Pies and lies. Exactly, Lini. Yeah, I don't think he locks her in. I don't think, you know. And I haven't tried to look to see, but I do, they don't have the fast food delivery there, I don't think. And here's the other thing is, uh, and like I said, am I Kuwaiti? No, but here's what I know is women can't be around men that they're not related to. So I don't see there being any female Uber drivers, maybe some foreigners, but I highly doubt it. So that would be men, but then you can't have strange men coming to your door because if there's nobody home. So I just don't see her being able to Uber Eats up her junk food. She is dependent um, on salad. And did you see that grocery haul? I'm sorry, but that was literally like a bodega on the corner. You know, I lived in New York City for yeah, and I like, you know, in Harlem. So I know what a bodega on the corner looks like. And she was basically at the Syrian equivalent of that. That was not a grocery store, grocery store hall. That was in a bodega on the corner type food. It was frozen. It was prepackaged. It was nothing healthy. You know, she see how she referred to the extra fine mutton. You know, I've got some lamb here. First, she said, I'm sorry. Lamb, lamb is a sheep that is less than a year, year old. And it's at least about 60 to 70% more uh, expensive it's, can even be more than that. Mutton tends to be two to three years old or older. It's an older sheep. It's tough. It is what is left after they've cut off all the pieces that people actually want from sheep. You're left with mutton. Is it as bad as tripe? No. Is it as bad as awful? No. Have you tasted mutton? I have. Not a fan. Just saying. So, you know, but they're once again, and, and she claims to be a foodie and I'm sorry, like Chantal is ignorant, but I think she does know something about food. She has a horrible palate and, you know, couldn't taste her way out of a Burger King to save her life, but she knows the difference between mutton and lamb, but she wanted people to think, you know, that she, she was buying lamb. I'm sorry. That wasn't lamb. That was corner store bodega, you know minced meat it was basically you know you can get ground beef or you can get ground meat you know when you're really broke you pick up the ground meat and you don't want to know what's in it that's kind of what the i view the the tubed ground meat that she's buying you know oh these fresh fresh eggs in kuwait bitch it's gonna be 130 degrees there soon i don't know how fresh you think those eggs actually are just saying yeah she doesn't have a sweet tooth yet picks up 68 candy bars and you know she's gonna murk them all yeah mutton is terrible with natural ginger it really and like i try and like you know and like i said i was you know i grew up eating like deer meat and moose meat so i'm used to gamey stuff but to me like and it, uh, if you've ever eaten geese like uh what western canadian geese like they are so gamey and gross and they taste like the swamps they eat and like mutton actually rates up there as worse than canadian geese in flavor and that is saying something mutton is just some next level just but you know but it it all depends on what you grow up eating you know i eat some weird stuff being from alaska that some people would be like what are you eating I don't know. but yeah not a fan of mutton Dips candy in her candy bar and her fluff. Fresh eggs right out of the chickens. Peach, exactly, Clarky. She is in torture there. Yeah, it's um. Yeah, we're. I don't think we're going to see much more of her walking around. Did you see that when she was out? You like even with the filter, she's like bright wet, red, and sweaty, and it's just going to get hotter and hotter and hotter, and it's it's going to be interesting. Uh, you know, she's probably going to be sitting there naked from here down streaming with, you know, her her uh, hijab scuba suit on her head. And she keeps saying, oh, my hair is getting so long and I'm taking all this biotin. And it's I'm I'm already being petty AF right now. So let's just go. So here's the deal. Once the hair follicles have died, died to the point where you have a shiny pate. There is no bringing them back. There is no way to revive those dead hair cells. And yeah, she probably had something hormonal going on. But before that, she had your standard super morbidly obese woman's balding going on because of malnutrition and so much fat. And she killed those hair cells. So the only way to actually get them back would to be a hair transplant. So for her to say it's starting to get long and lush and it's doing, it's all lies. Okay. She, she could probably do a, 
a Trump coma over at this point or something like that, you know, so it's not ever going to be long and luscious again. That ship has sailed. She's not going to grow back long, luscious locks. It's just not going to happen, not without surgical intervention. Oh, and if anybody's wondering this up there, that's actually stains under the hood. It's not dirty. I've scrubbed and scrubbed. It's like my ceiling I've shown before. I gave up on trying to come up with creative angles. The ceiling in here is stained. There were never smokers in here, but the ceiling's stained because it's an old house. So let's see. She's using filters again. I want to see the hair growth. Exactly. She is a lie. She's a lush lady. She's a lush, all right. Oh, I'm trying to drink my soda backwards. So, all right. I guess we can, uh, do we want to start wrapping it up? Yeah, she did this to herself. Like I said, I, I've covered, uh, so I could be wrong. Do I think she has a pulmonary embolism? I really think she knows the signs and symptoms. I don't think she does, but I think she wants people to worry about that. Do I think she was honest with that doctor about her history? No. Uh, does Chantal still have that bulletproof attitude because she's not suffered any severe consequences for her bad health choices? Yeah, I think she still has that teenage bulletproof attitude. That will change. Um, do I think salad locks are in there? I don't think so. I think that's, I think that's stirring her the pot. Maybe he did it once and she didn't like it or maybe, you know, something like that, but I, yeah, like I said, I think it's for drama. She said, I will, like during the Cuba rage, I will manipulate you and you'll be back tomorrow and you'll just eat it up or whatever it was, she said, you know. Hey, Chantal, we're all here for the, when karma comes for you, you know. Love that for you. Okay. Wrap up, we want pie, right? I know, I wish I could share. I don't even like lamb. I got to be honest, I'm not a lamb sheep person at all not I didn't even used to like the taste of beef I preferred deer meat and moose meat it just it, I just I you know just didn't grow up around a ton of steaks and stuff like that and like yogurt or uh like sour it just that wasn't a thing I'd never even had cottage cheese until I was like 30 years old oh my god I love that stuff but you know you live on an island in Alaska and everything's got to be barged in there and frozen you know it's just some stuff you don't get so Never learned to drink milk because all we ever got was powdered milk. Ugh. Oh, don't wrap up. <laughs> a real shut in. Exactly. To keep the pie for yourself. This is a ploy. To keep the pie. So here's what it looks like. I pray to God it, it, it smells good. Oh, it's still pretty hot. So it's looking pretty good, though. Not bad for... I probably, you know... Next time I make a pie, I guess I can use a double crust and, you know, you can make pretty shapes and stuff. This was literally I needed to use this stuff up. So I wish I could share it with everybody. Maybe one of these days when karma's come to collect, we can all save our shekels and we can all like meet up in the middle of like the United States or something. So we all have to travel equidistant, you know, to go and just like, I don't know, clink a glass and laugh and be like, oh, it's over keep thinking I hear something, but it's just the, the furnace. Thank you, Bali. Thank you, Aaron Tay. Yeah, it, it, like I said, I think it turned out okay. It's still really warm, though. Really warm. So, yeah, if anybody that came in late, it's an 8-inch standard pie dish. It's probably about four cups worth. I still have because I added the applesauce and then I got carried away. You know how it is where you just start adding the sugar and so it tastes great mm. yeah i'm gonna be eating this for the next day it's not going to the pie and nobody else is going to eat it so i don't feel bad about double dipping mm. we survived cuba that deserves a clink right we survived cuba and like you know i i don't like I don't really like to watch really long streams, people reviewing Chantal, but man, FFG sweeping in there for the win. We're talking like game set match, man. Her brother ended up with BBJ. Like it was epic. It was epic. 
It was better than any TV show ever in the history of forever. And I'm not even, you know, doing hyperbole here. It was just like, you could you can't write this stuff. It was so awesome. Johnny Appleseed. Yeah, he was born in Boston, I'm pretty sure. Or close to Boston. FFG literally broke the internet, Ariana S. Yes, she did. It was just, agreed, Clarky. Yeah, Laura. It was Jocelyn's mom. Exactly, holy moly. It, uh, it was just like... At first, like, you know, like, you roll over and I flip on YouTube, right? Wonder what's up. I want to see how much my, like, vlog got ignored, <laughs> you know? Because, like, I get paranoid, like, oh, God. Uh, why do I agree to do this for you? And then I see that. And I'm like, no. And then I, I see the title of FFG's Live coming up, and it just says bloop. And I'm like, no. And I just, I. I had to text uh, Mr. Grebo. Grebo Jr. is like, are you okay? And I'm like, because I'm hooping and hollering and I'm acting like just a complete moron in the living room because I was so excited. Yes, Central Mass, right, Lini? That's where Foodie was beautifully triggered by, oh, right? When she gets on there, she goes, I swear to God, you have 24 hours. Oh, just wait. You just, you know, she had the pinky. Just wait. Oh, oh, and she was doing this, the Jeffree Star, you know. You have stalker, you know. Oh, you just wait. Block and mitt, block and mitt, block and mitt. And I was just like. Loving it. I didn't even have secondhand embarrassment for her. She deserves every bit of it. I love it. And it was very upsetting to find out about poor BBJ and those five infected toe pads it's just mm -mm. you know yeah everybody's so happy that bbj was safe yeah thank you know and, and you know and like um exactly laura says chantal you know what i'm talking about how jeffrey star does his you know, like that. And Chantal was trying to do the, like, she has these big, long, beautiful nails. And it's like, bish, no, you know, you got little short, stubby sausage fingers that you're going to lose because of the beatus if something doesn't change. But yeah, and she just kept threatening. Like, Chantal, I suspect, is one of those people that's never suffered consequences. And because she's always been kind of enabled by the few people around her, like her family and stuff, like, she's learned or not learn, but she, she believes that if she says something loud enough with authority, that people will automatically believe her. So that's what she was doing on the internet was basically, you know, was uh, being blustery, you know, and just, uh, it's no different than, um, you know, being shady when you're playing cards, man. She was completely bluffing. There's no bark to her bite. And we all know that now. Just you wait. Just you wait. Oh, oh, you know, she's all talk, no do. All bark, no bite. Oh, yeah. And then she's talking about like she's so big and tough. I would pay good money to see somebody that really doesn't like her, a really staunch animal supporter, to run into her IRL and see how quick this SJW tough girl tucks and runs when some hardcore vegan animal activist slaps the smug off her face into next week. I would pay for front row seats for that because we all know somebody like her. They're all tough until all of a sudden, what, what do you mean they're here? And then she did. She's all talk, no do, you know, chick couldn't beat her way out of a wet paper bag. She's sad. She's pathetic. She's all bark, no bite. Uh, she's no logic. She's a liar, a lying liar who lies. I don't know. I'm going to start repeating myself. So we'll start winding this down. I just, I, uh, yeah, she's a coward, but I would, I would, I would pay good money <laughs> to see like a slap fight between her and FFG. I'll put my money on FFG. Oh, or like for just Shannon to have enough. <laughs> No two to run into each other. <laughs> oh my God. I really think Shannon would clean her clock. Yeah, exactly. She'd push her and she'd fall down. And Chantal is also that girl. Like, do you think I'm stupid? That stupid? I have a plan. You know, and goes running to the cops over 
DV and SA, you know, she's the same kind of girl that's going to talk all tough. Somebody will get up in her face and she's going to run right to the cops. Like I said, she is all talk and she's no do. And she's also one of those people that thinks like the cops are her own personal security. It's not what you say. It's what you can prove in a court of law, cupcake. <laughs> and she needs to Google what slander and libel actually mean. She also probably needs to look up hypocrisy. Uh, just, there's so many words. So like maybe, I don't know, maybe we can like start a GoFundMe and buy her like an unabridged dictionary, you know, in large print because her eyesight's so bad at this point because of the diabetes. She probably can't read regular print or, you know, just a thought. So she needs to Google live. All right, let's see what time it is. All right, it's almost midnight. So I will, uh, I'm trying to think, like, should I cut a piece of pie and then sign off so you guys can see it? It's still really hot. I don't want it to run everywhere. I want it to look nice. I, I guess I could post a picture. Um, yeah, it's 3 a.m. for you, White Knight. It's getting, and I, Mr. Grebo's probably going to be home from work. In fact, I just got a text. If he's on his way home, I'm getting off because he will come in the door and he'll be ranting about something. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. He just gave me a thumbs up, but that doesn't. So, um, so I guess for everybody, if, uh, do, do weekend nights work better or maybe, or earlier in the day during the week? Cause I'm trying to figure out, like, I cannot do it when Mr. Grebo's here. Cause like I said, his, his mood is so bad lately. He'll say something or do something and I'll, I'll just be horrified. I can't, you know, or, you know, I won't have to kill him on camera. <laughs> I can't leave any proof. So, um. I guess I could put another poll up. Everybody said like Friday evenings works best for them. And in general, a lot of the, yeah, it's 9 a.m. for Pernilla. So over in Sweden. <laughs> Crumb. Um, yeah, Friday nights. It seems like Friday nights work. And, you know, like a lot of the, 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 the lengthier streamers, they tend not to do Friday nights like FFG and usually Kaya. And, you know, they just don't tend to do Friday nights, you know. And so I figure I could just start doing the bad baking then. So, um, yeah, I'm a night owl too, uh, Ariana. Yeah, so it, I, it was a good time. So I guess what I'll do, 8 a.m. for you, Natural Ginger. <laughs> you and uh, <coughs> Pernell are on the same <coughs> time zone. <laughs> oh, my God, it might be idiopathic embolisms. I'm not going to go to the doctor, but I'm going to go hug a camel. Um, so, okay. I'm going to stop because what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, just going to start repeating myself again. And I hate it when like it's time to go and people start repeating themselves. And I think I've repeated myself a few times. So here's the plan is uh, I will pre-schedule the next live. I will have talking points. And I'll have something a little bit better so that if people want to follow along or get an easy cheesy recipe where you could buy like even box stuff and zhuzh it up because you know not everybody's a good cook you know <laughs> I grew up on you know boats in Alaska so you got to get real good at zhuzhing things up because you know fresh vegetables just weren't a thing you know I I, I didn't need a Brussels sprout till I was 30 years old we just didn't have that stuff so um, yeah, so I'll plan something like that. Maybe something new. Um, yeah, can anybody think of anything else? Oh, thank you, Bali. Let's see. All right, well, thank you, Aaron Tay. Thank you, Holy Moly. Thank you, Pernilla. Um, thank you, Jocelyn's mom. Thank you, Ariana S. Thank you, Clark E. Yeah, I'll be sure to bring the freshest of eggs and the creamiest of milk. Um, Thank you. I said, holy moly. Thank you, EP. Thank you, Aaron Tay. Uh, thank you, White Knight. Thank you, Lini Bo. Thank you, Natural Ginger. Jocelyn's mom. I'm, I just want to make sure Ariana S. Natural Ginger. I just want to make sure I'm not Laura. Thank you, Laura. I just don't want to uh, forget anybody. So I will post a picture of the pie. And I promise now that I'm getting feeling better. 
And if there is anybody here that hasn't watched my daily vlogs, if one of the mods can drop a link in the chat for like today's, like I was pretty proud of today's. Like, can I get a thumbs up for everybody? So I, I was rolling. Like, I think I'm funny sometimes. I don't know. Like I watch it after the fact. I'm like, I'm fucking funny, you know, but you know. Um, all right. Thank you. Oh, hey, Ennis, I see you. So, okay. Thank you, Clarky. So I'm going to sign off, but I thank you, Ariana. Um, so I will pre-schedule the next live and it won't be quite so crazy. It'll be a Friday and I will try to do it more often. It will be, thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. And we will go from there. So, um, okay. I, I think I know how to get out of this. So, okay. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, let me see if I can write it in. Thank you and good night. We'll, we'll do this again, I promise. And I, I'll be more organized. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you.